Hey guys, Josh here, and welcome back to Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town, and welcome back to another live stream, and happy Easter! I hope you're all having a great Easter. I don't know if you're doing something special, <laughs> as for me, I'm not doing much, but I'm happy to be spending this Easter with you, playing Olive Town, and I uh, yeah, hope everybody's doing good today. Also, I wanted to play Animal Crossing a little bit, not on stream, but... Um, I want to check out Bunny Day. I haven't had time to like do any of that in Animal Crossing. And also, coincidentally, the Egg Festival is going to be in two days in Olive Town. So, yeah, a lot of a lot of Eastern S today. So, I hope you're doing good. Hope you're eating some chocolate or whatever. And, ooh, and we get a little Easter chick. So, let's find the name. And yeah, hi Cynthia, Cloudy Skies, hope everybody's doing good. Hi Rox, congrats on 5k, thank you so much. Yeah, we've reached 5k this morning when I woke up. Uh, yeah, that was, <laughs> that was really good. Last week, last Sunday, we celebrated 4k. This Sunday, 5k. Maybe next week, 6? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like that would be a lot, but yeah, name it Easter. Yeah, I think, yeah, Easter... And maybe Easter bunny. No, it's not a bunny. Easter. Maybe just Easter. Just Easter chick. Maybe Easter. Maybe just Easter. Okay, just just Easter. Hi Josh. Hi Pika. Hi Jazzy Jazz. Zoe. Hope all of you guys are doing good. All right. So yeah, it's gonna be a uh, bunny day in two days. Yeah. All right. And also, I need to get Gray ready for the pet race. I think he's... Uh, wow, he's pushing my cat around. Uh, <laughs> I think he's... Yeah, yeah, I want him to win the pet race this year. Yeah, I hope everybody's doing good. I hope your farm has been doing good as well. I see some people started posting pictures on Discord of their farm. And some people are doing pretty cute stuff. Uh, yeah, so that's the point actually today. I wanted to decorate my farm. Oh, and I think uh, Yeah, I think we should be able to upgrade the house To the last expansion. I just need one more or we can ingot just one more So maybe if we're lucky that's gonna be today. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, all right, so let's do this like this and yay so we're gonna get some uh, recalca actually I want to wait until I have 10 because I want to put them in the big maker Ooh, diamond um, yeah actually that's not gonna be today I want to wait until I have a bit more I mean I could put them in the small maker but I want to I don't want to waste so I'm gonna wait until I have a bit more Okay, I don't need like I don't need everything else, but I just kind of want to make space for Orikalkan to spawn. I don't know if that's something I have to do or so. Yeah, just making some space. All right, I can't wait until I have the Orikalkan hammer. Also, I'm gonna be able to get rid of the gold in just one hit. All right. Hey, so happy to be here for a live stream again. Hi, Renat. Hope you're doing good. I'm glad you were able to make it as well. All right. So, what's the plan for today? Let's sell some stuff. Yeah. Uh, like, mm, what? I don't know what. To use the cans for that something something I still have not figured out and <laughs> I didn't I don't know sometimes I sell them sometimes I hoard them I feel like I always do something different with them um, I feel like I should have figured that out but I still don't know what to do with them like the description says there's maybe something inside but there's no way I don't know I love the little patio, patio area. Yeah, so I did that actually <laughs> uh, yesterday, so I didn't record that or anything. 
Uh, but yeah, I decided... Unfortunately, you can't put paths under <laughs> stuff, but... Uh, I decided to make that little patio area with my little lamp and... Yeah, I wish I could have like a little barbecue or something, but yeah, I think, <laughs> I think that turned out pretty good. Yeah, that umbrella table... Isn't it called parasol? I don't know. In Japanese, it's parasol table, but I feel like it's a parasol more than an umbrella. But anyway, um, however it is called in English. Uh, anyway, it's really cute, but it is quite expensive to get. You need like 20 mirage cloths, which are kind of take a long time to make because 20 is a lot. Um, so that's my broccoli and let's pick it up. I still need the forest area, but I'm waiting on all my trees to grow back. Yeah, it's definitely nice to have these areas, so I don't have to worry. I can just decorate my farm now and not have to worry about, like, are the trees gonna grow back on my farm or not? So, okay, I'm gonna plant some more. A stream I can join. Hey, Sato, glad you're able to make it. Yeah, I feel like Sunday streams, more people can join them. Uh, so that's good. Mm. See, I'm having... I have a lot of leak. I have so so many 10-star giant leaks and it's really making me a lot of seeds. So I'm getting pretty much 18 seeds every day. There's two different types of avocado. Yeah, you can get the giant avocado. See, so when you use 10-star crops, like, uh, you're gonna get so many, so, so, so many giant ones. So, that's pretty good. Like, Leak is already making a lot of money, but when you have so many giant leagues, I don't even use them. I mean, I keep a little bit for making seeds, but now I, I don't have to be afraid of just, like, selling them. Have you done a face reveal? Do you plan to... I would like to. I have not done it yet. Um, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't have, like, any good camera or, like, good setup to do that. But eventually. That <laughs> that will be coming eventually in the future. I don't think they will fix the dialogues in April already. Yeah, I don't think so, right? I mean, what I would like to see the most in April would be, like, performance improvement. You know, just, like, the frame rate issues and, like, the things popping in and out. I hope, I hope, yeah, that's the things I would like to see. And maybe, like, food, like, the different meals. I think that's what I would like to see the most. And, like, when you look with your camera, I wish you could see, like, I wish you could see further with the camera, right? I hope that's something they can fix. But, yeah, I'm looking forward to whatever they're going to do in April. I'm looking forward to... Okay, so, yeah, let's sell some big leaks. Oh, my gosh. Okay, all right. And let's plant some more big leaks. Oh, I have to sell my broccoli. So, yeah, I'm gonna keep mostly leaks and uh, I'm gonna go in my field to plant some bro. Actually, I can. I have like 10 star turnips, maybe I could plant that. Have you tried getting royal jelly from the hives? Yes, during the winter I made quite a bit of royal jelly. What difficulty mode? So that's the normal mode. And I wish there was a hard mode. I wish there was a hard mode. Because I feel like I don't know what to do with my money anymore. If you're not sure what trees to plant... Uh, I would recommend planting everything because pretty much everything is going to be needed for some recipes. So I'd recommend getting all of the trees. I'm not sure quite yet which one is the most profitable, but I think they're all pretty much worth it. And necessary at one point or another. Okay, let's plant some big turnips. Oops. 
buy furniture and decorate your house. Yeah, I will. Um, yeah, I want to upgrade my house probably uh, today. Well, during today's stream, so maybe tomorrow in game or something like that. But even the furniture is not expensive enough. I wish. Like the house upgrade is one million, but there's not like crazy expensive furniture or anything. Hello everyone. Hey, potato. Potato. Er, hope you're doing good. Your farm is looking great. Thank you so much. I think it's starting to look pretty good. Um. Oh, I forgot to take some things here. Yeah, so my plan for today is I want to get my farm ready for the farm tour because a lot of people have been <laughs> requesting. I think that's my mostly... Uh, the thing I get the most request for is to do a farm tour. So I want to work on getting that ready. But yeah. I missed a few live in vids due to Monster Hunter Rise. Yeah, I started playing Monster Hunter Rise. Well, <laughs> just because I'm making videos, I don't have too much time to play. I did, I did like to, the tutorial, like the first like two or three quests, <laughs> just show you how to play. But I didn't have time to actually play it, and I can't wait to play it more. Uh, yeah, because I used to play Monster Hunter World a lot. Oh, Jackie, thank you so much for the super sticker. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. But yeah, I played Monster Hunter World quite a lot. And I can't wait to like play Monster Hunter Rise, but I don't know when. Um, okay, you know what I'm going to do? So I have my beehives kind of divided. So during the last stream, I thought it was a good idea. But I think I'm going to put all of my beehives together. And maybe all of my honey makers, maybe all of my beehives in area three, and all of my honey makers in area two. Is it worth to go to design your farm early? I haven't unlocked and hand sprinkler yet. No, so don't design your farm too early because if you do that, you're not gonna have any space to. Yeah, I want I want to put beehives here and put my honey makers on the other area. Uh, if you decorate too early, you're not gonna have any space. For the trees to spawn and the rocks and everything and even though that sounds like a good thing uh, you're gonna be struggling <laughs> to gather resources and to level up so you should wait a little bit before decorating um. Maybe I should make some hardwood. I feel like the the wood from the beginning, like the regular wood and the hardwood, I'm really running short because I always make I always make the fancier ones, but you need these basic ones. Oh, actually, that's just the regular one. Uh, but yeah, you need this one as well. Your farm looks so pretty. Thank you so much, Melanie. I'm <laughs> doing my best, but there's still a lot of work to do. Uh, like this and this and also what I was thinking the other day well <laughs> yesterday I did the video with the wild animals right and for the monkeys I think I want to make an area on my farm with just tree stumps so maybe here like uh, maybe instead of the flowers here I could have like just one or two or three tree stumps so I would have monkeys spawning here and they would like walk around here and it would be like they're a little... Well, I have bears spawning here as well, so it's gonna... I feel like it's gonna be a lot of animals. But yeah, I want to make a little kind of monkey enclosure. I think that would be kind of cute. And... Okay, let's put this away. See, I'm getting some 9-star eggs now. Are you going to try to raise all the friendships to max or get married? Yes, I will. I'm focusing on my farm first, but I will do that eventually. I just wish you would get more out of the friendships. Like, you know, in some of the games you would have like... I don't know, they would actually give you something <laughs> when you're friends and up with them. Secretly want to pay <laughs> someone to come decorate my farm. Too bad I can't. Yeah, I wish it was like multiplayer. I would come decorate the farm for you. No need to pay me. 
But yeah, unfortunately, that's not possible. And yeah, okay, so I'm gonna wait until I have six more Arikalkan ores, then we're gonna convert them and expand our house. And... Yeah, actually five more. I have so much, so much rocks, so much iron. Can get over how organized and cohesive your farm looks. Amazing job. Thank you so much. I feel like I'm not... Uh, I feel like on the organization, I'm still not that organized. I've seen <laughs> some of you guys have posted your chests and like your makers area on Discord and everybody, everybody's everything looks so much better than mine. But yeah, just, oops, doing my best. Oh my gosh, I should have, okay, let me just put that here. See, someone organized wouldn't do that. Um, and let's put that here. Oh, I need to make my diamond. Okay, let me make my diamond very quickly. Who are you planning to marry? So, I'm planning to save at one point before I marry, but I want to try both Iori and Blair. These are the most interesting candidates for me, so I want to try to marry these two. But I'm not gonna try to marry everybody. I know some some people like to marry everybody, but that's just too much work for me. And there's not that much of difference. I wish there was more difference between the candidates. Like they would help you on your farm and like in different ways or something like that. But of course you get different cutscenes. But mm. can't wait till I get my hands on this game. I'm I'm gonna be obsessed for like a month. Yeah, I have been obsessed for more than a month already, and yeah, I hope you can get your hands on it soon. It's such an addictive, so, so, so addictive game. If anybody has been still hesitant on buying this game. Josh, question, can American version play with the other country version? Well, there's no multiplayer, so it doesn't make any difference. But I'm pretty sure if you play, the only uh, online feature is that you can see, uh, like, pictures uploaded by other players but I'm pretty sure it's not compatible with other it's like region specific but it's really not yeah there, there is no multiplayer basically so it doesn't matter Damon keeps asking if I want help in the field but I actually can't tell him yes oh my gosh that's so bad he asks for it but actually he he's not even doing anything I maxed heart on a few people, but I'm waiting for Terracotta DLC. I see. Yeah, there's gonna be quite a few interesting candidates. I'm not sure who who comes back in which DLC exactly, but yeah, there's gonna be quite a few interesting characters coming back. Hmm. Okay, let's do this. Already 6 p.m. Time flies. Time flies. Okay, this time let's do hardwood. Yeah, it's really too bad the <laughs> spouse cannot do anything. Okay, you know what? Tomorrow, I think... Yeah, I think we're gonna go to the museum because I've been hoarding these things for way too long. And see, there. this is supposed to be mayonnaise, but it's all these bags. Oops. Ah, yeah, I just wish... I really wish they would stack or there was a better way to do... Uh, I want to put my emerald. Okay, I'm gonna sell my emerald. Okay, I'm gonna put stuff in here. Oh, okay, I can put that here. And see, <laughs> no, no matter which bag I open, there's gonna be. Okay, I think I can put my grass over there. But yeah, no matter which chest I open, there's always so many of these bags. Have you completed your museum already? No. 
Uh, actually, I think I'm at like 60, 50 or 60% of my museum. Yeah, 60% of my museum completion. There's still a lot to do for me for the museum. And even though yesterday I did the wild animals video, that was actually in the... I just copied my save file. And I had to go like through the whole year to, to see the animals of different seasons. So actually in this actual save file, I don't have uh, the pictures of all the wild animals yet. So yeah, so there's still a lot to do. I'm going to put this here. Welcome gate is going to be with the wood if anybody... Mm, no, I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't do that. I'm going to be looking for it. Okay, let's be organized. Okay, I'm gonna make some honey. I keep getting the same things in my bags for the museum. I know, it's the same. Like, at one point you really need to get these shiny bags from the big pond or like the electric moles, but it's so much work. Does the stone decor cost more than regular stone? Um, what do you mean? Like the stone path or...? Like, three stone for one path and four stone for... It's really, really cheap, actually. And, like, you have so much stone in this game, so... <laughs> if you're interested in making any stone paths or stone decor, definitely recommend you do it. There's also a few items, like... Uh, like this welcome gate. It uses 99 stone and, like, 30 silver, 30 iron, 30 ingots, uh, 30 gold, like... Just the R, not the ingot. So that's really, really nice, actually. If you want to get rid of your things. Oh, onion, I want to keep, actually. Okay, let me just put a few things in here. Oh my gosh, I can't. Okay, I'm going to sell this floral essence. I don't even think I need that. Um, I think... Yeah, there's a few things I can sell. Oh, let me just put something back. Yeah, those electric moles are really, really annoying. How much can you sell this one for? Oh, 1,500. Not too much. It takes a lot of resources, but it's not that valuable. You know what? I think I can sell some of this food. Uh, yeah, you know, I think sometimes I'm just hoarding way too much, but it's not necessary, you know. There's just so many things. So many things I could just sell. Like this. I don't really need... Even grass, like, at one point... W when you have, like, a thousand of each grass, you don't need to hoard that much more. Um... Have you done a farm tour yet? No, so it is something <laughs> I get asked a lot, but that's gonna be coming soon Maybe next week, maybe sometime this week or next week. I should be able to do a farm tour, but I need to get uh, If I want to do that, I need to work a lot on this today I need to decorate my farm today uh, See I'm getting all of these nine stars banana trees I don't know if I'm going to plant that many banana trees, but that's always good to have. I'm late, but I made it. Oh, Gabrielle, no worries. We just started 23 minutes ago, so you're not that late. Oh, I just noticed I had so many <laughs> seeds here. I didn't know that. Um, okay, I have some honey. Let me sell. Oh, this one is royal jelly. And oh, mushrooms, mushrooms. I completely forgot my matsteke, so let's pick these up. Oh, I just got a little award. So, by the way, I reached level 10 in mushrooms. Uh, so now every time on each log, I get actually five mushrooms, so it is getting quite good. Do the likes in the town full profile increases as you get more hearts? I noticed that each one has more than one reaction for different items. Yeah, I don't... Well, when you increase your communication skills, when you give them gifts, it will go up faster. 
So I don't know if that answers your questions, but as you increase your hearts, they're not gonna like the items you give them more. But when you when you sorry <laughs> when you increase your communication skills, your friendships will go up faster. I don't know if that I know we're pretty busy already, Josh. But as your RF four copy has arrived yet? No, I don't know what's happening with that. Uh, it says expected april 20th so that's still like 20 days from now uh so i'm not sure <laughs> it seems to be taking forever i thought i was getting a good deal like because it was 30 dollars instead of like 60. <sighs> but the delivery is just super long and yeah i bought it on amazon and now I, I could, if I buy it on Amazon again, there's like a few different sellers and they sell it for like $50, so it's more expensive, but they could ship it a little bit faster. So I almost thought about just canceling and <laughs> rebuying it, reordering it again. But yeah, I'm just gonna wait. Oops. I, I'm just gonna wait. I just wanna have it in May at least until like when I'm waiting for Rune Factory 5. Yeah, I got it from Amazon. And I was looking at like, I was looking at Best Buy and other websites, but it seems to be like sold out everywhere. So it seems to be kind of hard to get. Um, so yeah. Yeah, that's quite good money. Not too bad. Not too bad. And let's go. Okay, let's. Okay, tomorrow morning I'm gonna complain because my bag is gonna be filled with... Oh, you know what? I think... I think my chickens don't have the automatic feeder anymore because I noticed, I think, in the cutscene... Um, <laughs> when we got the little baby chick at the beginning of the stream, I... I feel like I saw that there was no automatic feeder, so I don't know if that's just something that doesn't appear in the cutscene. Or uh, if I took it out at one point, uh, maybe for a video or something, and it never, I never put it back. So I just want to make sure my chickens actually have a feeder. Too bad you're in Canada. If I could, I would grab it from Exceed for you. Oh, doesn't Exceed? They don't ship in Canada, or just left your content. What are those white chests by the hydroponic plants? You made them that color. Yeah. So these are the mortar chests. And so, uh, yeah, so by default, okay, I'm gonna, I feel like these ones I should just throw away. Uh, yeah, so by default, they are yellow, but you can paint them if you make some paint. Um, yeah, my bag is full. Okay, so let's go to the museum tomorrow. Yeah, so some of them I painted like blue ones and white ones. And these are my favorite chests, I think, in the game. They look really cute. Yeah, the lag is on. The frame rate is always intense here. So yeah, blue and white, I think. Yeah, these are <laughs> my favorite chests. I want to decorate this area maybe tomorrow. Okay, let's go to bed. It's getting late. Um, actually, I want to wake up at 10 tomorrow because I have to go to the museum and my bag is going to be full. So I don't want to wake up early. So let's stay up a little bit later. Actually, my bag is full. There's nothing else we can do. Okay, let's just go to sleep and <laughs> let's go to the museum after that. I'm playing SOS Boot while watching you. Yay! Hope you're enjoying. Hope your farm is doing good so far. I'm glad you guys can now play while watching. And yeah, uh, I cannot wait in two months for Rune Factory 5. I'm gonna be able to start playing. I don't know how. I wonder how, when it's gonna release in the rest of the world. Hopefully, it's not gonna be too, too long after the Japanese release. The white chest remind me of coolers. Oh my gosh. <laughs> really? I don't know if that's a good thing, but... Oh yeah, we're making quite good profit. Yeah, there's no hated gifts. Just do you know when the maker, the process wool is unlocked. Um, Yeah, you mean the yarn maker, right? Um, Which would be... 
in animal care level 4 and then level 5 you can make the cloth can't wait for the final house expansion yeah that's coming soon I just need maybe maybe today we can get it let's just see if there's any are we calcan If there is, we might be able to do that. I know my bag is full, but I just wanted... Oh, we're gonna reach 3 million very soon. Is there a way to level up faster? It depends on which... Level... Uh, it depend Ooh, depends on which skill. But there's no way to... It's not like in Mineral Town where you could just like stay in your house and use the tool to let it upgrade you you really do have to actually use it but there are a few tricks or not tr tricks but like for example the fishing you can use the fishing nets instead of actually f going fishing so when you reach level 4 you unlock these and they will increase your skills for draining you can use the pumps instead of using your buckets and it will level up your skills as well so I don't know if that helps but yeah <laughs> I don't know what to do if you didn't make videos. Yeah, I'm glad. I've, I've been seeing a lot of people. Apparently, my videos are very helpful. So, I'm very, very glad to hear that. And I think, uh, so far, I've made all of the most requested videos. So, a lot of people wanted to see videos about crops. That's done. A lot of them... A lot of people wanted to see videos about animals. That is done. A lot of people wanted to... Sorry, I feel like skipping the cutscene. A lot of people wanted to see the wild animal things that is done. So... Um, yeah, let me know what you'd like to see next. And... Okay, let's just wait for 10... I mean, it, I managed to make over 100,000 G when using your crops tips. Feel so rich and only in autumn year one. That's good. Yeah, I feel like my first year, I really didn't know what crops to plant. And I didn't realize if you were selling the wild, <laughs> like the wild crafts, you like... Anyway, I didn't do good in my first year, so I'm glad yeah. you guys are doing better than me. How do you use the net? I tried to place it in the sea. You have to place it between rocks. Yeah. So... Yeah, the, I, I can show you. I can make some maybe after and I can show you how to place them. It helps with your vids, you're nice as well. Ah, oh, thank you so much. And you interact with all of us, that's not too common. Yeah, I'm surprised that a lot of people have been saying that, but I feel like that's the <laughs> common, like common sense, but yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, but what is Rune Factory 5? So Rune Factory is a series by the same developer as Story of Seasons, and it's basically kind of Story of Seasons, but with like RPG elements, like fighting, monsters, and Instead of having animals, you have to tame monsters and you can ride the monsters and go fight with them. And yeah, it's a little bit harder on the difficulty level. But yeah, it's definitely a lot of fun. I Actually, the other Rune Factories were a lot of fun. So I have no doubt Rune Factory 5 is going to be so amazing. The only crop I forgot about was onion and I need it for two recipes for Lavette. Yeah, usually onion you can... Well, if you're in spring, you can buy it from the supermarket. But whenever I'm needing crops, I always go to the Sprite Village and talk to the Field Sprite. So usually the Field Sprite is going to give you some random crops. So Onion is could be one of them. And if you go to the shop, also uh, the Sprite shop, usually you can find something different every day. So I would recommend that if you're missing something for a recipe. I just wish Run Factory 5 allows same-sex marriage. Yeah, I hope so. I feel like... I don't know. I feel like that's not going to be the case. But, yeah. Let, let's see. There's a Discord. Yes, there is a Discord. The link is in the description. So, if you guys are interested in chatting with other people about uh, Story of Seasons, asking questions... There's also an Animal Crossing section, if you're into Animal Crossing as well. So, yeah, if you haven't joined the Discord, feel free to do that. 
Oh my gosh, let's see if we've got anything valuable. Um, yeah, not really. <laughs> all that for that. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. Yeah, they are the same developers as SOS, but the producer is a different producer, though, and I don't, I don't know. I don't know. And in Rune Factory 4, if I'm not wrong, in Rune Factory 4, you could change your gender at one point, so that was like a w workaround. But I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> Do the crops at the general store increase in levels when you sell higher level crops? No. So to increase... No, I actually, the one you buy at the supermarket, they're always gonna be. Um, these are good gifts. I'm gonna keep them. The ones that you buy at the supermarket are always gonna be zero. Yeah. Did I forget to plant my new mushrooms? I feel like I picked up my mushrooms yesterday, but did I forget? Okay, let me see if... Oh, there's probably some leak ready in there. Okay, nothing's ready. I don't think there's any info yet regarding same-sex marriage. Yeah, and like in the trailer, they because they released a trailer uh, for... I uh, introducing the bachelors in bachelorettes and they didn't mention anything in regards to that and I don't remember exactly but it sounded like if you if you're a girl like you can date these guys and if you're a guy you can date these girls so I feel like it was very I don't know they didn't mention it so I don't know maybe it's gonna be there maybe it's not gonna be there no one knows can you show up your farm? I kind of need some inspo. Yeah, maybe I can do like a, a farm tour, I guess. <laughs> uh, it's still not finished, but maybe I can do a little tour just so people can see a little bit. Do the flowers that you have planted along the paths need watered each day as well? So you need to water them at for if you want them to grow. But once they're grown, like they're not going to wilt or anything until the next season. So, yeah, basically for five days you have to water them or like depending on how many days they take to grow. But usually flowers never take more like than six days. Uh, so you have to water them at the beginning of the month. And after that, they're just going to stay for the whole month. Buy a recal come and upgrade your tools just because yeah maybe I should do that actually maybe I can go to the sprite village and buy the Arikalcum I'm missing. Oh actually I can um we have to go back to Stonebreaker Valley to get uh today's Arikalcum. RF mechanic was bad you were only allowed to change appearance at the very end game and also when you change your appearance people will still address you as you started sex yeah it was it was really like a kind of like workaround but it was not really <laughs> it was not the best way to handle it i feel they don't die until the next month no so they're gonna stay so these are spring flowers so as soon as it goes into summer they're gonna die but other than that you can just leave them here and they're gonna be fine And yeah, I'm gonna probably, I'm not gonna let them, also if you, uh, so if you let them die at the end of the month, you're gonna have to use your hammer to remove the wilted flowers at the end, which is a lot of work. So I <laughs> just need to remember on the 28th to actually pick them up, to actually harvest them. Okay, let's see if we can get some more I, I Actually, I know we can, we saw it earlier. Are you Filipino? I don't I don't know why I'm getting this question. So many I'm not Filipino. I know a lot of people think maybe my accent is Filipino. Also, a lot of people think I speak Spanish. Sometimes I get comments in Spanish and I can't read them unfortunately. I can kind of read them but not really. Um so I'm not Filipino and I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> but it's interesting that a lot of people 
Like, really a lot of people are thinking that. When you ship high level products, can the store sell the high level crops? I think I've answered that earlier, but no. So the store is always gonna sell the same level products no matter what you do. You need, uh, like for the supermarket, you need to sell at least one of certain crops if you want them to sell them. Um, like crops that are not there at the beginning, but they're always gonna sell the zero star. You definitely do not have anything close to Spanish or Mexican accent, so I don't know why people think that. I don't know. I don't know why, but some people do so. Honestly, it confuses me on your accent. My own Filipino friends don't have the same accent as you, nor does my Spanish friend. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I feel like I always get so many different opinions on that, I guess. Some people... <laughs> some people say one thing, other people say another completely different thing, so... I don't know. But that's a French-Canadian accent. Maybe I should have <laughs> mentioned that earlier. That's My accent is just French-Canadian, so... yeah. That is so funny to me because I'm Canadian and immediately wondered if you're French Canadian. Yeah, I feel like most Canadians can uh, know quite easily because they've heard that accent before. Uh, of course, the people like other French Canadians can recognize me usually like instantly. They already know, right? They already know. But if you don't know, you don't know, right? Like if you don't live in, like I feel like if you don't live in, if you're not Canadian, you don't really know what a French Canadian accent should sound like. So maybe you hear my accent and you're you just don't know where it's from. Maybe you should do a FAQ video where you do a lot of the same questions. I was thinking about that, but actually I feel like um even if I if even if I answer questions in the video, I'm still going to get the same questions, right? Sometimes I do even like sometimes I'm surprised like I do a video on something and then in the comments, I get so many questions that are actually answered in the video. And <laughs> so, yeah, but maybe I should do that. Okay, let's pick these tulips. Hi, Josh. I'm so happy to be here for another live. How are you doing? Hey, Morgan. I'm doing pretty good. Hope you are doing good as well. Hope you're everybody having a nice Easter Sunday Easter. Ooh, I just noticed we're 200. 30 people uh, today, so <laughs> thank you so much for joining everybody. Hope you're... Yeah, I just hope everybody's having a nice Easter. I'm gonna plant some black pansies. Because uh, I need to make some more black paint. Your accent really leans French when you say Canadian. Oh, really? <laughs> Probably because they comment before watching. Yeah. I mean, I like that it makes more comments, but... <laughs> mm. I too live in Canada and just assume you were French-Canadian when I first heard you are from Canada. Glad to see I know I was right. Yeah, well, if you hear me... If my first language was English and I would have that accent, I think <laughs> there will be something wrong. Um. Hi, Josh. Just want to say you're amazing. Thank you for your videos. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Ah, uh, let's do this. I've been asked before if I was from Boston due to how I talk, and I'm a Southern Belle from what I get called here. I see. I can't. I can't really make difference in like American accents. Like the Southern accent, I guess I can. I can hear. Like if that like a really strong like Southern accent, I guess I can hear it. But if someone's asking me like what's a Boston accent or like a New York accent or like. LA accent like I have no idea like some people can hear but I really cannot make the difference between like American accents different American accents
what type of honey sells more so first to make uh to make good money with honey it really takes a while you need for your skill to get higher so the higher your skill is the more money you'll make but the most valuable honey you make actually it's royal je sorry royal jelly and you need the flower that is called hellebore and to get that flower you'll find it in the winter you have to get one wild one and then you'll sell it and then you'll be able to buy them to plant How do you manage your makers? I just take my time with it, you know. I don't... Um, I don't always keep everything running. So as you can see, like earlier, I had like my yarns and my my cloths and everything. But I don't... Like there's no time limit in this game, right? So sometimes... I let my... I don't do anything with my makers for a few days. And that's okay as well. Don't stress yourself. Um, yeah, that's... That's all I have to say. There's a few... There's Southern, a few different New York accents. Oh, there's a few different New York accents. Oh my gosh, that's... Too much. <laughs> too much. Oh, Rin. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for the super sticker. When can I upgrade my soul quality? You need to get over a hundred followers sprites in total and after that you'll get the option to upgrade it at your at the shrine okay let's make some mayonnaise it's so much work to babysit the makers all the time i know they need a lot of work so don't stress i don't worry too much about them What are some quality of life changes and updates you'd like to see in the game? That's a good question. I think maybe the option to put more stuff in the makers, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know how if that would break like the balance of the game. So I'm not sure how they would be able to change the makers. Or maybe just like a shed with some makers that you can all put uh, put all of them in the same building. And then what else? Quality of life changes. Maybe something to auto sort in your chest. Or maybe something even like in my time at Porsche where the chests are all connected together and you can just open one chest and you can see what's in everything. So yeah, just some like inventory management, like storage management things would be quite useful. I think I can probably breed. Well, let me see if. Oh yeah, I can breed. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be able. Okay, I'm gonna sell some buffaloes, and we can breed one. Um, do you still use poor seeds makers lately? It feels like a chore. So I use the seed makers uh, because my giant leeks really make. Like, I just put two of them and I get 18 seeds. Uh, so I make sure to make seeds every day. My spores maker, I feel like I'm maybe neglecting them a little bit. But, yeah. I'd love just one huge chest you can upgrade for more space. Yeah, that would be a good idea as well. Sorry if I can't. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up with the chat as much as I can. But there are some... If I miss... If you're asking something and I miss it, feel free to maybe ask it again and uh, hopefully I'm gonna see it. See, like uh, today I feel maybe a little bit lazy with... You know what, I think I'm gonna sell my eggs. Like I feel a bit lazy with these today so I'm just <laughs> not doing that. Maybe I should plant some wheat and rice and things. But yeah, maybe tomorrow we're gonna be at 3 million. Oh, also, yes, yeah, so today's main purpose was to decorate my farm and we haven't... It's been almost an hour and we have not started decorating yet. There should be harvest upgrade levels to harvest multiple crops at the time. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. 
Can't get a helper in this game to harvest. No, there's no way, even if you're married or no matter what, uh, nobody's gonna help you on your farm. Which is <laughs> kind of on fart. Oh my gosh, and this is full already. Okay, so what should we do? Okay, I want to. Okay, I want to start decorating this area a bit more. I want to finish the first area of my farm. So let's clean this up. It would be amazing if all the chests were connected. I feel like I'm always running around. Yeah. Playing the Bunny Day event in ACNH is not so bad second time around. Yeah, and also I feel like the items are just so much cuter than <laughs> during the first year. I want to craft one more of these benches. You know what's bugging me is that my trees are not going to be aligned with my benches. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to make another bench right here and see how it goes. I always forget what you need for that bench. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, right here. Okay. Oh, sorry. It's not too bad. Okay. Let's do that. Um, okay. Let me just put some stuff here. Yeah. My chests are all full. Okay. I'm going to put this stuff that I'm going to sell tomorrow. Oops. Okay. I'll like this. I'm going to sell. All right. So let's get some wood. Let's get some silver, some blue paint. blue paint however I should have quite a few blue flowers I like that paint oops I like that paint is really easy to make actually in this game it's just two hours that's one of the quickest things to craft so even though there's so many different colors it really never feels like you don't need to craft that much in advance right for the paint because it's just so fast. Alright, so I need this and then silver. And like this. Actually, I think I just need five. Let's do like this. All right. So now let's wait for paint and let's craft that paint. Okay, so what should we do in the meantime? Maybe I can cut some trees in the meantime. So also... Yeah, I definitely want to redo this area. So last stream we started working here, but I don't like it too much. Um, yeah, I just don't like it. Yeah, villagers can't lose hearts if you ignore them. It's the same for the animals, so... Once they're at 10 hearts, you don't have to care too much about them. Which is... It's a good... I feel like I feel like that would be a lot of work if you actually had to maintain your relationships. So <laughs> I'm glad it doesn't go down. Otherwise, I think all of my villagers, all of my relationships will always be at zero stars. So we're just going to wait for the paint. And then we should be good to make a bench. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, I've been ignoring them for three years and... The villagers I talked with three years ago, they're still <laughs> like Sydney. I only talked to her like twice or so, but yeah, still, <laughs> I still have a lot of work to do on that. Just found out that you bulk order at a clothes, clothes shop. Yeah, I, I still, I have not ordered a lot of clothes yet. 
Maybe I should start working on that. I feel like I'm starting to get lots of fabrics and cloth, so I could probably order a few more. I, I just feel like uh, there, there's just so much to do in this game. I feel like I can, I can never do everything. Like, if you, if you focus on your farm, you're not going to be able to build relationships. If you focus on relationships, your farm is going to be kind of behind. There's just so much to do, but that's a good thing. I think. Okay, so let's put that here and let's make it yellow. It's been so long from 23 to 5k in less than a year. Yeah. Well, from 23, I, start, I, start, I started with zero, but yeah, recently the growth on this channel has been pretty, pretty good. So thank you for that. Can you buy a hellebore flower in the Sprite Village? Yeah, you can. Sorry, oh, actually that was another question, but <laughs> yeah, I just want to confirm that yes, you can. All right, so I don't know if I should move this tree maybe here, but if I do that, Maybe I should, mm. okay, let me know what you guys think. So here, I like the position of the tree. So there is one tree here, like kind of beside the bench, right? And there's one here just beside the gate. So if I were to put my tree here, it would look weird, right? But on this other side, so the trees are positioned the same way, but then there's I don't know. Should I move the tree like here? Should I put the tree here so like the both benches would be centered and like the gate would be centered? Let me know if I should move the tree or if I should maybe just change. Maybe I could move my en put my entrance here instead. I don't know. Let me know if you guys have any thoughts on this. I'm going to sleep on that. So let's see. Oh, there's some onion. Uh, yeah, I'm going to sleep on that. Let me know what you think. Does everyone experience lag in game on their farm? Yeah, I think that's just the game. Hopefully they're planning to reduce this and improve this in some updates. So hopefully it's going to get better, but there's really not much you can do about that. Uh, move the bench or move the tree, move the fence. Hmm. So should I move the fence or move the tree? Yeah, the llama decor, the alpaca uh, topiary actually, uh, you'll get it when you reach level 10 in grass cutting. Will the updates be free? So there's so there's two things. They're going to make free updates just to improve the games and improve the game, but not add, not add content, right? Just fix bugs and improve the performance. But there's also an expansion pass that will add like new villagers and areas and features, but that one you have to pay for. So, yeah. I can't find times in the days to decorate. By the time I take care of my animals and my makers, it's time to go to bed. Yeah, I know. That's why I sometimes have to neglect my animals. Thank gosh they have uh, automatic feeder. Yeah, what should we do for that? Try moving the fence and see how you like it. If you don't like it, move the tree. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Um, okay, let me just... Okay, let me sell my stuff. Then we're going to grab fences and benches and all of that fun stuff. Don't let, I'm just going to sell it. Okay, all right. Like this. Oh, have we... Oh, no. Not three million yet. Not three million yet, but almost... Um, okay, I'm going to sell... Okay, so... This, I'm supposed to sell it. I run out of grass to cut to increase to level 9. Oh no. And actually, after you rank, after you get to level 9, it's so easy to get to level 10. Because there's just <laughs> going to be so much grass to cut every day. Oh, 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 oh there's something I want to do. There's something I want to do. Do you guys know what we're doing? 
let me know if you know but I'm very very excited about what I'm about to do I just think the fences and benches are easier to move than the tree yeah true because the tree the tree is gonna take like 15 days to grow right also the thing the thing the um, one thing that I've noticed is that when you plant your trees so for example uh, the trees in the first area of my farm I planted them with when, when my soil quality was like zero so and even though now I have upgraded my soil since I planted those trees a long time ago they just give me like three star fruits <laughs> so before you plant too many trees, I would recommend maybe you try to level up your soil to level 3. And yeah, I'm gonna replant all of my trees eventually. I'm gonna make... I wanna make 10 star seeds and like replant everything. So basically what I'm doing... I have... Uh, actually, maybe I should do that right now. I started in my seasonal gardens to plant some fruit there and yeah basically what I want to do uh, is to get 10 star fruits for everything and after that so I'm at 9 stars so I'm gonna have to use these to make seeds and then plant them again and then I'm gonna get 10 stars and yeah I want to get 10 star fruits for everything and once I have 10 stars I'm gonna plant these actually on my actual farm How do you upgrade yourself? So once you reach a hundred, once you've gathered over a hundred followers sprites, you'll get the option at the shrine to upgrade it. So yes, um, Zoe, you're right. We're gonna do the house upgrade. When does the expansion pass come out to buy? So if you didn't buy the expansion pass with the digital version of the game. You should probably get it one. You should probably be able to buy it once the f part one of the expansion pass comes out, and uh, in North America, that's on uh, April 29th. Oh gosh, I forgot. We're not upgrading our house today. That's the egg festival. Oh gosh. Okay. Uh, did you play Stardew Valley? How do you compare Stardew to Poot? Um. So, yeah, today's Easter, right? So uh, let's just maybe talk to everybody oh maybe reina likes lemon is there anyone that likes bananas maybe we can um give anyway we're gonna give a lemon i'm just trying to talk to jesse but okay i uh, finally i <laughs> did it uh yeah anyway i don't i forgot what i was gonna say yeah today's easter so we're gonna do the little bunny day thing but i really wish I really wish we had the bunny day, uh, the egg day. Did I say bunny day? <laughs> Mixing up with Animal Crossing. Um, the egg festival from Harvest Moon 64 was so much better. You had to like run around and actually get some eggs. But yeah, after that, uh, I guess tomorrow... Oh, actually, we're gonna lose our day, right? Because when we finish, it's gonna be 7 p.m. Uh, yeah, someone asked... Did you play Stardew Valley? Sorry, how did you compare it with Poot? So I played Stardew Valley, but like four four years ago. Uh, <laughs> so I didn't play recently, and I know it changed quite a bit. So for me, I feel like in terms of like features and content, I feel like in Stardew Valley, maybe there is more on that. But I don't know. I, f I feel like in terms of villagers and stuff, I like the villagers more in Olive Town and like I don't know like it's just like a really cute game but yeah they're both really good the expansion pass is out already I have it yeah I think you can I think the expansion pass you can only get it if you bought the digital version of the game but I don't think you can buy it by itself for now just when do we unlock the special area with extra trees to chop down so that's gonna be when you reach level 9 of the logging skill. You're gonna unlock that area. Hi Josh, I've been watching your YouTube videos for a while. I'm glad I can finally catch a stream. Yeah, I'm glad you're able to catch a stream as well. Oh, I forgot to give the lemon. Did I forget? I think I did. I think I did give it. Uh, okay, let's do 
this. I'm gonna keep this for seeds. I'm gonna sell the sap because I have too much. Okay, let's make some seeds. Oh. Alright, so yeah, we're already lost our day. Okay, so let's do what we were doing. Uh, we were decorating over here. So let me get some maybe uh, iron fence. And let me get some bricks and all of that stuff. Maybe we can try some. I feel like that's going to be too much, this big gate. Just for my little patio. So I'm probably going to make something smaller. But let's try it anyway. Brick paths. This. This. take this all right we should have everything we need i don't know how y'all deal with the mine on the third area those baddies on floor 30 are so annoying yeah i know they're such a pain oh arian thank you so much for the super sticker thank you so so much uh, okay so let's do this let's oh uh, i don't okay let's see if i do that yeah, it's not really connecting with the... I, I want to keep my corner in brick here because like I have all of my corners like this. Good job. Um, oh, maybe I could put like a lamp here, right? Between the... So, or maybe just a flower. So I'm, I'm trying to make it symmetrical, but not 100% symmetrical. What about the banana seedling for 10 stars? Yeah, I'm keeping... Um, yeah, I have... Oh, did I... S oh, I already have... Sorry, I already have a lot of... Um, <laughs> I already have a lot of these, actually. So I don't need more. I already have 9 star banana seeds that I have to plant. And after that, this should give me 10 star bananas. We don't need seedling makers to increase fruit ratings. Yeah, yeah, you do need seedling makers. Otherwise, you're always gonna get the basic, the low quality fruits. Happy Easter, everyone. You gotta go. We'll watch the stream later. Thank you so much. Happy Easter to you as well. Yeah, I'm trying to make things <laughs> look good. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm doing right now. Uh, let's try something like this. Yeah, that's not gonna. That looks a bit weird because it doesn't connect, right? Yeah, let's keep it like this. And I don't know if I, I really like my alpaca there. Maybe I'm maybe I should move it. I don't know. Um, so my entrance is here. I don't know. Maybe I don't need this bench. Maybe just like this. Oops. Maybe just like flowers here and like a street lamp here or alpaca what do you guys think should i keep my alpaca or should I have some street lamps hmm i'm not too sure for now i'm gonna go oh do i have tulip seeds um wait i'm pretty sure i saw tulip yeah i think near my honey area i have some tulip seeds so let's plant some extra tulips How long did it take you to get to level 9 for wood chopping? It's taking me forever because I don't have enough trees. Yeah, so I definitely recommend... Oh, no, I don't have tulips. For me, it didn't take... I don't know, it was some time in year 2. But... Yeah, make sure you don't decorate your farm too much if you still want to have trees.
Yeah, I'm not sure what to do with that. I feel like I feel like that side was so much easier to make. So much easier to decorate than this one. Yeah, maybe we should keep the two benches. Should we? Okay, I think. Where's my bench? Okay, you know what? I think if I put my tree here, oops, like this. I think it's better like this. Let me know what you guys think. But anyway, it's it's a bit too late now. But I think it was better like this. So it's not gonna be a hundred percent symmetrical, but it's fine. Like this all right and so we're gonna have the tree here and yeah 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 maybe i can have a, a little flower here so we can actually kind of see what is going on maybe i could have also like a tree here in the corner right i think like a little banana tree or something so let me find okay let me go to sleep uh, tomorrow I'm gonna see if I have some nice cherry seeds, but I probably don't have much more than three stars for that. This might be a weird suggestion. Why not use the tea leaves as bushes? Saw someone in Discord do that and it looked nice. Ooh, that's a really good idea actually. Oh, I like that. Maybe I could do like a little bush and then... And also the tea, uh, so the tea, tea leaves, right? They can stay for three months, right? Like spring, summer, autumn. Oh my gosh, I love that idea. Maybe we should try that. Like we could have like a few bushes and then something else. And then, yeah, I like that. Maybe you can try that. When will you be getting married? I, I don't know yet. <laughs> I don't know yet. I'm focusing on decorating my farm first. Oh, and we got a baby cow today. How should we name her? And expand the house. So expanding the house is going to be today. Uh, yesterday, the shops were closed because of the egg festival. So let me know if you have any good name suggestions. Yeah, also I'm planning to, after I'm done decorating my farm, so I'm going to do a farm tour and I'd like to do also like a kind of decorating tips and tricks video. So maybe I'm going to keep the tea leaves in mind for that. Uh, <laughs> Milky Way, Egg is Happy, Easter Cow. We already have, we already have one animal called Easter, but putting a Moogle. So many good <laughs> suggestions. Uh, Molly or these? Oh, that's cute. I think. Hmm. I like pudding. Steak? No, no steak. <laughs> I don't like to give them like cruel names like these. We're gonna go with pudding. I think that's cute. Oh, <laughs> and we've got an alpaca as well. So throw your suggestions again. Mm, what could be a good name for an alpaca? I named my alpaca Weird Alpaca. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. I named all my animals after sweets. Uh, I do that a lot, like, uh, like, like vanilla, like mocha, cappuccino, like choco, like <laughs> usually I go for easy things like this. Um, uh, what's the I like turtles boy? I have no, <laughs> I have no idea what's that. Uh, so many names, so many names. 
Oh, Snowflake is cute. Cotton candy is cute. So many cute suggestions. Sugar, cotton. So, so many people are suggesting cotton every time. I think we probably already have one animal named cotton. Two pack. <laughs> uh, Pac-Man. Oh, I like Pac-Man. Mm. Oh, Cyrus or Reese. Oh, that's cute. Maybe, yeah, okay, we're gonna go with that. We're gonna go with Cyrus. A little Animal Crossing <laughs> reference. I wish you could dye them, like... <laughs> if you use the... I wish you could use the paint on your sheep and alpacas to change their colors. Is there... I feel like there was a game... Oh no, that was Minecraft. That was in Minecraft that you could do that, right? You could change the colors of your sheep using the different dyes. I wish you could do that in Story of Seasons. That would be so cute. Okay, alright, so... Oh, low battery, okay. Okay, I'm back. So, alright, so let's upgrade our house. Do I have... Okay, I was scared I kind of... <laughs> I was scared I sold something important by accident. No, we have everything. I want a blue alpaca. Yeah, I want to make a <laughs> colorful barn. I named all of my animal with YouTuber, VTuber names I know. Oh my gosh, you <laughs> maybe you should... Maybe you should name your next animal, Josh. If that's not already done. Always with a low battery. I know, every time I stream. Every oh. time. So... Uh, my... We're missing... <laughs> I thought it was 50. I thought I just needed 50 Mirage Wood. Okay, it's fine. We're gonna do this. I don't know if it's gonna be ready by 6 p.m. Let's hurry up. I thought you just needed 50. I don't know why I thought this. Do you think they will allow you to rotate the furniture in any of the updates? I really wish they would. Uh, that's something I would really like to see, but I feel like that's not gonna happen. Which kind of animal would you like to be named? Um, um, maybe... I feel like that shouldn't be that hard to answer, but... <laughs> maybe... Maybe a chicken. Maybe that could be a good chicken. Alright. Oh, is that the... Oh, no. That's not the Mirage Wood. They look so similar like the Supple, or is it Flexible? I'm not sure how it is in English. Um, but it's just so similar to the Mirage Wood. Oh my gosh, I don't have enough. Well, actually... Whoops. Um, actually, I know where to get more. Uh, no, actually, I don't. I was gonna say... Yeah, okay, let's go to the mining area. I was gonna say, so when you do, when you complete all of the... When you complete the animal collection in the museum, right? When you get the 21 wild animal pictures, you get a reward, you actually get a title, and you can go to the city hall, and you're gonna get 50 Mirage Logs. I know it's, <laughs> it's not bad, not a bad reward, but it's a little bit underwhelming. So I was gonna say, well, I'm gonna go to the city hall, get my reward, but actually, I did that. I did the museum on a different save file, so I don't have that reward available to me. So, let's... Oops, no, nope, wrong one. Let's go chop some wood. I picked the wrong one. The chickens are hens, though, but <laughs> I'll name a chicken Josie for you. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. But everything is... So basically, I can only be a sheep, or maybe I could be a rabbit. Maybe I can be a pink rabbit. I think that would be good. Maybe you can name a pink rabbit after me. I'm really disappointed in the way they did the having children in the baby part. You can't interact with your baby at all. Yeah, I wish. Well, I don't have a baby yet. 
Maybe that's why I feel like if your baby would help you on your farm Well, I mean if they could like grow up and help you or like <laughs> do something more I feel like I would probably be married, but I feel like there is no Like it doesn't give you much, right? Hi, hey Mabzaz, how are you doing? Hope you're doing good the story of seasons had the best furniture house customization customization i had my first floor all pink and my second floor filled with japanese furniture yeah i never played the origin like the first like the story of seasons on 3ds i played a new beginning new beginning had some good customization as well but i don't remember too too well it's been quite a few years when do you get this area so you unlock uh, this area when you reach level 9 in logging, so I definitely recommend you try to get level 9 as soon as you can And don't decorate your farm too much. Otherwise there until you Unlock this area don't decorate your farm too much. Otherwise, you're gonna have a hard time leveling up You don't even have the baby it's more of an adoption super disappointed. Yeah, Yeah, I can see how that's disappointing. If, if you can crawl, you can collect the eggs. Yeah, even like, especially your partner, I feel like they should do something. But who knows, maybe... I feel like that's not something they're gonna update, but... Who knows, maybe if a lot of people are unhappy with this, they might, but I don't know. Alright, so actually I don't need wait actually I wanna reach level 10 so let me cut everything. I feel like I'll just stick with Stardew with having a partner they'll feed my animals. Yeah. I mean every game like no game can be perfect in every aspect, right? So for me I'm focusing more on the like the farming. So I don't mind too too much but yeah <laughs> of course if you can get a game that has good farming and good like relationships that's the best of both worlds hmm I really like the babies the most in like um, oh my gosh I got 42 mirage wood in a wonderful life you know like you could buy them toys and like they would grow up and like depending on your friendships like they would have like a different career and i don't know i feel like the the best family kind of focus the harvest moon slash star of season game that has the most the best family features was definitely a wonderful life i think from the ones that i've played I've never had a game, a HM SOS game where you can hold the baby. I think, I think in a wonderful life you could. I'm not too sure. Maybe I'm saying something wrong. I feel like you could hold the baby in a wonderful life. A wonderful life and animal parade have the best family systems. Oh, I didn't know about animal parade actually, because I've never played that one. So I'm not sure how it works exactly in that one. I love this, I'm playing Poot on one screen and streaming, you playing on the second monitor. Love the game and love your videos. Ah, thank you so much. I'm glad you're enjoying and I hope you're enjoying the game. Are you going to make a video about which are the best flowers to grow? Maybe I should do that. Um, the best flowers in the game are the Halibor from Winter... Is this ready? No. These avocados look ripe, but they're not. Um... But in the other seasons, I'm not sure yet. Maybe I'll have to make a video on that. There's not too too much to say about flowers though, actually. In 64, you could. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't. I don't remember too much about the baby in 64, actually. Um, let me put a few things away. I'm not gonna have enough space. Should I get this game? <laughs> yes. 
you definitely should. Oh, also there's been another game I've been wanting to try. I think it's coming out on April 8th. And it's called Cozy Grove. And apparently it's a very kind of chill game. And I don't... A lot of people are saying it's going to be like... Kind of similar to Animal Crossing. I don't... No, I haven't. I don't want to spoil it too much for myself. But it looks like a very chill game. Like it has the word cozy in the title. So... But yeah, it's coming out on April 8th, and I definitely want to try that. Maybe I'm... There's someone knocking on somewhere. I'm not sure what's happening. Um, yeah, I definitely want to try Cozy Grove. Um, okay, All right, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I got distracted. There's someone knocking, I think. One of my neighbors doing something with a hammer or something. Uh, okay, all right. Let's make some gold ingots. Hi, Josh. I've been enjoying your videos. Thank you so much, Angel. Is a wonderful life worth getting? If you're able to get it, I would. However, I think... So, if you're uh, thinking about getting the original one, I would. However, I think... Is it a PS3 or the PS4? The one on the PlayStation Network. I don't know if it's specifically the one for the PS3 or PS4. But there are like there are lots of bugs and I don't know. I bought one of them. I think I bought the PS3 version, and it just keeps blinking. Like like you know in the top right you have like the controls, and they just keep blinking all of the time, and it's so annoying. And I couldn't play more than one day because it was just bugging me so much. But yeah, I really hope they would make a remake of A Wonderful Life. I'm looking forward to the Olive Town Mystery Files. Yeah. So the mystery files have been out on the Japanese version of the game. I still have not yet finished everything. Um, some people have been requested that I <laughs> do like a part two of that, so I might do that and solve the mystery in a video. Um. Okay. All right. So let's sell some stuff. Congrats on 5k subscribers. Thank you so much. Cozy Grove looks really good. I'm trying not to look into too many spoilers, but it does look like a good new game to sink into. Yeah, I, I will definitely take a look at this uh, this week. Unless you can buy it fast, or Recalcum is not a thing, unfortunately. Yeah, there's no way to get or Recalcum really fast in this game. And I think that's a good... I think that's a good thing, right? Because it gives you something to look like to challenge yourself in the end game right you don't get everything like so quick so i like i like that it's not too easy to get yeah it's already out on the japanese version how is it so far it's not too bad i made one video kind of checking it out quickly uh but yeah it, it's not bad but i'm not a big fan of like the animal costumes so I'm more looking forward to the next expansion that's coming like in April for the Japanese version and in May next month and it's gonna have returning characters and windswept falls which is gonna be one of the new areas so I'm looking more forward to that. Oh yeah I, I always forget so the goal of today's stream is actually to decorate. Oh there's gonna be a tree growing here but I don't want that. Um, okay so let's actually go get some seeds okay so i want to have so okay i need to find some cherry seeds okay let me see over there and i think on my patio i can plant a banana tree maybe it's gonna be a nine star but it's not too bad i'm gonna have that in the meantime just so i can like have something right um okay i'm gonna plant okay so I'm gonna plant an apple tree. Um, it's not gonna have time to make fruits, but I, I just wanna have like have a tree there. Uh, but I, I'm gonna replace all of my trees eventually anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I just wanna have a tree. Like they're gonna look the same, right? Um, but yeah, I'm gonna replace them eventually when I have like 10 star cherry trees. 
And okay, like this. Oh, I wanted to buy tulips. I forgot to buy tulips again. Just go. Just got goat milk plus from my alpine gown. It's kind of funny because it's my first time milking it. Oh, you're lucky. Yeah, it's kind of hard to get uh, the plus product. Usually, you have a higher chance when they. Um, with the further generations you go. So, usually on the first generations, you don't get that many plus products. So, yeah, I'm pretty lucky so far. Uh, I think maybe here I could put a street lamp, right? Okay, let me see what I need. I always forget what I need for that street lamp. Um, I need gold, silver. Oh, I need glass. I'm gonna have to go and get glass. Can I? Can I get glass from this pride village? I'm always like running very short on glass. I'm not even sure like where you get it. I think like you get it from the veins in the mine. I don't know if like the third mine is the best one for that. I think so. Where you can get the big ingot maker? So you'll get it when you reach level 10. You'll get a recipe when you reach level 10 in mining and you'll get one free one uh, from the city hall. Let's see if there's glass. Oh, there is. Oh, actually. Let's just not worry about glass for a little while. I don't even know if it's used for anything else than just making the glass panels. So I'm going to make 100 glass panels. All right, so problem is solved. And yeah, I'm not going to talk to these guys because I don't have space in my bag. All right, so next, 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 we're going to make, okay, so I need silver. Okay, so let's go get some silver, make some street lamps. Thank you so much, guys, for <laughs> spending your Easter with me, or at least your Easter morning or Easter whatever. I don't know if you <laughs> have any plans today, but I'm glad to be able to, to do something on this day that... Usually what I do on Easter, I always like meet my family, but it's not happening this year. So I'm just like staying home. So I'm glad we can like do something. So yeah, I hope, I hope you're <laughs> having a good day, good time. Um, okay. Like this and let's make more mirage. Best part of my day. Oh my gosh, that's too much. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'm glad to hear that. All right, so tomorrow for real. Oh, tomorrow is... Oh, no. Um... Oh no, tomorrow the, the shop is open. Okay, so tomorrow for real we get the house expansion. I need to not forget because if I forget it's it's gonna have to wait until Thursday. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow house expansion, I promise. Promise, promise. Okay, so let's make some street lamps. Let's make a few. Well, I can only make two. Um, I don't know where's my tree sap. I know I have a lot of tree sap, but I always put it somewhere. And I don't know where. Thank you for live streaming today. It's, in, it's evening already where I live, so I'm cozy on the couch. Well, I'm glad to hear you're cozy. And thank you for watching. Thank you. So, okay, let me get some black paint. I think I should have a little bit left. And uh, let me make some more paint just in case. 
I don't think I have any black flowers. I have one here. I think I'm gonna keep then all of these black pansies. I think they're gonna be ready tomorrow. I'm gonna make lots of black paint. And like this. And one over here. Oh, I just feel so much better when you have some lights. And what I feel like that would be weird to have like flowers here because it's kind of like out of the way, right? So I think I'm just gonna put ah uh, like a fruit tree. Maybe I'm just gonna go with the apple tree as well. Just like a, just in the meantime, just until I get like a nice ten star something. And oh, maybe I should put a bench here. Mm, you know, I think it's fine like this. Okay, like this. And maybe tomorrow we can start decorating this area a little bit more. So for now, let's go to sleep. And yeah, tomorrow we're gonna renovate our house. What are those makers next to stables in the second area? So these are the seedling makers. So uh, you put fruits in there in order to get like fruit seeds for trees I love your farm layout. I'm still unsure what to do with mine. Yeah, it took me a long time to figure out mine especially In the third area, I feel like it's just so big and it's kind of hard to figure out and especially like when I started playing I couldn't find anyone for like inspiration for my farm because I was like I was playing early on the Japanese version so there was not too much but yeah I hope my maybe my farm layout can give you some ideas how to get a really pretty arch so you're gonna get it at level 10 or 9, let me double check. I think level 9 of mining, you get the arch. Uh, let me just double check for you. Yeah, level 9 of mining, you're gonna get the beautiful arch. Alright, so we've got this. Uh, okay, so let's just go expand our house and then we're gonna work on this area right here And uh, maybe we can kind of finish the first area at least on today's stream uh, Okay, all right. oh my honey is ready. So after that uh, Yeah, we're gonna finish the first area and after that we're gonna move I still want to move my beehives. I feel like I'm always move them, but I don't like where er, how they're set up right now actually I still can't find any layout ideas on Pinterest or Reddit still seems early even though it's out yeah I know it's kind of hard to find like inspiration and also even if you want to find like guides and like for example yesterday I made the animal like the wild animal guides and I was looking for like information on each wild animal even like on Japanese websites a lot of information was inaccurate like they would say an animal would be in certain season but actually it's a different one or they would say like they would say it's there all day but it's only in the morning or like like the times were inaccurate and like on the English websites it was even worse so I don't know why I feel like usually it doesn't take too long for like accurate information to come out on the game But I feel like for this one I don't know Or maybe it's just like one person started posting something like the wrong information and then everybody just copies them So I don't know Just I loved your video yesterday so helpful to get pictures of the animals. Thank you. Yeah, I hope it helped it really helped me because uh to kind of research that because there were a few that I was missing that I couldn't figure out as well So let's yay. Oh my gosh now is the day finally 
we have the last house expansion we have the hydroculture plant we have all the buildings we have pretty much everything that we could have oh look at this extra room on the side yo mr josh is it summer it's uh, still spring spring 16 oh wow that's so big so we get <laughs> one more extra room on the first floor wow that looks so big i didn't like that empty space near the house so that's gonna be good catching you live playing right now too yay i hope you're enjoying oh my gosh that's so big ah that's so big i want to see oh my gosh that looks so good look at this how I wish I could have a house like this in real life. Nice little patio and big house. All right, let's. See. I want to see what's on the back. I'm really curious about this dock. I'm sure it's gonna serve eventually, maybe in, with the expansion pass. So yeah, that's our windows. Okay, all right. <laughs> so let's just go in, I guess. But I'm just so excited. Look at these beautiful plants. Beautiful flowers. I don't know if they're gonna change every season. But anyway, let's just go in. The rain ruined the aesthetics. No, I think it's still <laughs> it's still super cute. But yeah, the view from the patio is really good. Oh my gosh, look at this floor. So oh my oh my have you seen that? That's so big. Okay, let's not spoil it. <laughs> let's keep the suspense a little bit. But look at this uh new wall. We've got this new wall, this new floor. Look at this big fridge and are you guys ready? Three, two, one. Ta-da! Oh my gosh, that is so big. Mickey, do you like your new room? That is so big. I wish you could put walls or something. Okay, let me... Let me check. Ah... Where is it? Where is... Oh, 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 my gosh. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this area. This is so big. I can put, like, a big carpet and, like, two or three sofas. Oh, the problem with the sofas in this game is that you can't move them, right? You can't rotate them. Um, I wish you could put walls, actually. Oh, there's some dividers, right? If you use... Okay, let's go shopping. Let's go. Okay, let me empty. Okay, let me see if there's... Oh my gosh, I got four pages. Let's put some lemon here. Whew. Okay, all right. Let's see if there's anything new upstairs. No, let's... Yeah, let's see. I don't think so, but let's check. Yeah, so we got the new floor. I like the new floor, actually. Uh, but beside that, there's no change. Okay, so what we're gonna do... Oh, we can get a new pet. Oh my gosh. Ah, there's so much to do. Okay. Um, so let's go... Unfortunately, the general store is closed. I want to go buy some furniture. Let's go some. Let's go do some shopping. Let's do some shopping. Let me just put stuff away. I feel like uh, I want to buy everything, so <laughs> I just want to make some space. Okay, it shouldn't be enough space because the general store is closed, but I can still go to Nigel. And I can still go to the flower shop. How do you get the animal statues? So you need to increase your uh, reaping, the grass cutting skill. And every few levels, you're gonna unlock a new one, and the last one is the alpaca at level ten. Yeah, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna see what's up with Nigel. Oh. So yeah, there's nothing for the house expansion anymore. Um.
I don't know if these sofas you can change the color. So I don't know if um should I go for like the red, the green? I don't know if you can change the color. Let's buy a few of these. Oh yeah, you can change the color. Oh my gosh, Jazz is Jazz. Thank you so much. Uh, what are some of your other hobbies and interests besides gaming? Uh, that's a really good question. So I like traveling a lot. So uh, obviously that's something I couldn't do recently, but I used to be a flight attendant. So I used to travel a lot and that's something I really like doing. And like, yeah, I guess traveling would be something that I really like to do. Like I used to live in Japan for two years. So I also like languages, like learning languages and traveling, things like that. Um, but when I'm at home, that's mostly gaming. Uh, I feel that so much, but four months sounds crazy. I made it without bed for three days and that only... Oh, you just moved, right? Oh, I hope you're... I don't know. I think I missed a few things <laughs> the chat. I hope your move went well anyway, Cloudy Skies. Uh, hey, oh, hey me games. Hope you're doing good. Sorry, I kind of skipped <laughs> that cutscene. I see you were streaming Olive Town as well earlier. Uh, let's go buy some furniture. So let's uh, let's do the same thing. Uh, these ones I already have. This bonsai is really cute. Okay, so let's go decorate. You are so cultured. Oh my gosh, I wouldn't say that, but <laughs> yeah, doing my best. What new pet are you going to get? Yeah, maybe we should get a new pet right now, right? Oh, it's close. So the pet shop is closed today. So maybe tomorrow. When you smash rocks, what do you do with the stone? I've ended up with so much. So when you have the jewel maker, you can process them and you can sell them for profit. And they're going to be used for a few recipes later on. But most of the them, like the most of them, you can process them in the jewel maker and just sell them. So if you sell like diamonds, you can make like 10k for each diamond. And even the other ones are quite valuable as well. Okay, so I want to see what this. Oh, this is two by two. Oh, okay, like this. Oh, this is nice. Okay, I want to see. Okay, I want to see the different colors of everything. Okay, let's do. Maybe I should make a video where I just check all the colors of everything. Um, oh, you can change the color of that as well. Okay, I'm, I feel like there's gonna be a lot to do. Okay, I just wanna... Okay, let me go get my paint. I feel like there's so much you can do with this room. This one, you cannot change the color. Okay, let me go get some paint and we're gonna experiment. We're gonna do some uh, DIY. Okay, mm, I missed the house upgrade. I had to get a drink. Oh no. Yeah, that's too bad. Well, <laughs> you, you can still get to see the house, but yeah, I'm very, very happy. I'm very, very happy with the upgrade. I feel like there's so much, just so much uh, more <laughs> space than in the previous one. It's really like a big. Oh, my mushrooms are ready. Actually, I completely forgot to take care of my things today. Um, but oh, I I don't have any white paint actually. Okay, let me make some more blue. I don't have a lot. There's a decent chance I will be moving to either Okinawa or Germany sometimes next year and would be there four years. It's terrifying but exciting. Oh, because your partner is in the military, right? Is that right? That's exciting if you get to move to... Like, you can't choose, right? But that's exciting that you get to, like, see different places. 
So let me let me just get the mushrooms and sell them because we need to get some of our money back after just spending one million on this house. And we're gonna check out the different furniture colors. Black rose and black pansy gives black dye. Yes, they do. They do. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna. Okay. I'm gonna have to buy more of these seeds. I really cannot wait until I have the big spore maker. I feel like it's just so long to get spores in this game. All right, so let's do this very quickly. Where can I find raw opal? So I think opal you can find in a mine, in the first mine actually. If I'm not wrong, that's the only mine you can find it in. Great farm greetings from Mexico. Oh, Adam, I hope, I hope you're doing well in Mexico right now. And uh, thank you so much. My farm is. I have to admit, my farm is looking, is starting to look pretty, not too bad. Um, okay, so let's sell these mushrooms, these ones I'm gonna keep to make spores. Okay, let's sell that and let's check the different colors. I'm so excited to finally being able to start decorating my house. Let's sell these and this is yeah that is pretty good. Okay, all right. So let's go in. And there's other furniture. Other furniture you can buy from the general store, like things to put on the to put on the wall. Oh, I want to see if there's actually. Can you put? Hmm? Why cannot take it back? Oh, okay. Uh, I want to see if you can put anything on the wall. Oh, yes, you can. Oh, can you put... I don't think you'd be able... Oh, yeah. But basically, you can... Oh, maybe I can put, like, a big, beautiful painting there. I think there are some expensive paintings, actually, in this game. Maybe I, we can buy some painting tomorrow. Okay, so I'm just gonna save. I want to see all the colors for everything. Will the decorative flowers you have planted on the side of the roads ever spoil? Uh, just at the end of the month, but they're gonna be good for all month. All right, so let's start with. So this one you cannot decorate. Okay, so let's start with pink. Oh, yeah, that's actually good. Yeah, I just wish you could change the colors of the floor and walls. That's not bad. That's not bad. Oh, that's fancy. This one. Oh, I'm running out of uh, pink. Um, okay, so that that was pink, yellow. I feel like mm, I usually yeah I usually like yellow, but I'm not. I don't know. I feel like this one's missing some life. Oh, Nick, thank you so much for the super chat. Happy Easter to you as well. I feel like this yellow is more like brown. I'm not a big fan of it. Black. Yeah, well, it's black, right? I think if you mix like black and blue, it must be good. Like, like some black table and like some black blue thing. Anyway, um, yeah. So that's blue. Sorry, I don't have much more blue paint. Uh, let's try with red. Yeah, I think the pink looked pretty good. <laughs> Just casually painting the couch. Yeah. Oh, the red. I like how vibrant it is. The table looks kind of, I don't know. Uh, actually, it's it kind of, it's kind of like a more natural tone, I guess. That's good. I like the red. Red is good. Purple. I feel like I really like this sofa. Actually, this one is not bad, but 
But I wish you could rotate them, right? I want to put like one sofa like this and then like a big carpet and like another sofa like this, but... Yeah, purple, it feels like a... <laughs> like a vampire house or something. Um... Oh, green. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not sure if green... Oh! Actually, I like it. Actually, it's not bad. Oh, we've completely forgot this little... Um, actually, I like it. It's kind of... Teal. Is that teal? Anyway, kind of not bad. Mm. I wouldn't put everything in green, but like maybe one so fine green would be good. Let me know <laughs> what you guys think is the best, but I'm gonna reload. And tomorrow, we're gonna go to the general store, buy some painting. I won't be able to stay as I'm, in a, I'm at a friend's house, but I wanted to stop by and say hi. Hope this stream has been going well. Yes, Leptail has been going pretty well. So yeah, thank you so much for stopping by. Do you have the chicken rug? Um, I don't think I do. I've seen it at the store. So tomorrow morning, we're gonna do a little shopping spree. What year are you in? I'm at winter of the first one and feel like one more year will be enough to see everything of the game. Any advice? So I was really kind of slow on the first year, but I'm in spring of year three right now. And I just got the last house expansion. Mm. Any advice? I don't know. <laughs> it depends on what you need advice for. Just take your time. Don't rush to try to do everything as fast as you can. Uh, enjoy your time. I feel like that's a very boring advice, but <laughs> I don't know if you need advice specific on something. Uh, I can give you more details. Um, okay, it's 5 p.m. Okay, let me put let me put the plants here. I just want to have everything. So when I when I decorate, I'm gonna be able to easily see. I wish you could put stuff on the tables. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Look at Cookie. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to buy a pet tomorrow too. There's only two types of chickens, yes. Okay, so let me just put this here. What's wrong with... Okay, <laughs> we made it, okay. Okay, I, I was scared when I couldn't put it. I was scared there was like gonna be a limit of like how many items you can put in a room or something. Um, okay, let me put away... Let me kind of just clean up my inventory. I'm gonna have to redo this. I'm gonna do a whole... Uh, redecorating of my house. Maybe I could make a video on that. But anyway, let's uh, empty my inventory a little bit. Time to sleep, 3 minutes to 1 a.m. Good night, all. All right, thank you so much, Nifa Zina, for spending time on the stream. And see you next time. And have a good night. I wonder how a white table would... Yeah, I need white. I'm not sure. I feel like I've never seen the white paint in the general... Okay, let me see if the sprites are maybe selling some white flowers. So, so far, there's no white flowers that can grow in spring and you cannot buy white paint from the florist yeah lily and daisy for white paint but um i don't think you can <laughs> get them in uh, i think not in spring right yeah yep um Okay, maybe the field the sprite. So sometimes the field the sprite gives you flowers. Oh, yeah, but he's not giving me white flowers. Let's get some food from this guy. And yeah, I don't have any space for anything else. Yeah, I want white paint. I wish you could... I really wish you could trade with other players. Like, if I could tr 
trade some of my flowers or some of my paint for white paint with someone else right now. How useful would that be? Ship some white dye and then the flower shop will sell it. Yeah, but I don't I don't have <laughs> white dye unfortunately. I think I've only had it like once. But yeah, I should have sold it. I should have Yeah, I should have sold it. Yeah, I don't think Okay, let me try. Maybe I have some one I think maybe I have some lily somewhere. Okay, let me just make some maybe blue paint I'm gonna need more. Um yeah, I know my honey is ready, but... Okay, let me try to find a white flower. I think I might have... Oh, wait, I think I've seen a, a wild lily somewhere. Maybe I sold it. I feel like I've seen one. I've seen one... I don't remember when or where, but I feel like I know I've seen one. Maybe I didn't. Okay, let me go check near my chest, near my house. Maybe it's over there. I want a pig so I can name it Puddles. Oh my gosh, that would be so cute. I really wish we had like a little pet pig, a little pig pet in this game. There's advice for at the beginning of the game sell one of everything so it ends up in shops. Yeah, definitely That's a really really good advice Yeah, I don't have any white flowers. Oh my leaks probably ready, right? This feels more fast-paced than other entries, is what I meant. Maybe the DLC will add enough to prolong the gameplay. Yeah, it is definitely like a more fast-paced game. But I feel like even after the end game, though, there's still a lot to do, right? But yeah, hoping the DLC will add more. The stream is a little blurry. Oh, is it? Is it blurry for other people as well? Because it shows, I think it should be in 720p. I don't know if it's just you or... So much leak! So much leak! Not for me, alright. I'm glad to hear it's not for everybody at least. Maybe you can try refreshing the page or something. I wish you could hold down a button and pick up like six squares of items at a time. Yeah, if you could do like this three by three, like like when you plant your seeds, right? I wish you could do that. It's not too bad. I don't I don't mind it too much, honestly. I think with the amount of money I'm getting from these leaks, I really don't mind it too much. I think it's worth the little bit of work that I have to put into it. I heard they're gonna fix the dialogues and improve the makers. Yeah, that's a few things they wanna improve. They also announced they were gonna improve like the performance. But yeah, I'm wondering what kind of tweaks they're gonna make to the makers. Because I feel like whatever change they're gonna make, if, if, like, if they allow you to put everything in one maker, I feel like it would break the balance of the game because everything would then become so easy to craft and uh, easy to make so I don't know I feel like this and I don't know maybe they're gonna make like a shed so you can place all your makers in it I don't know we're, we're I guess we're gonna see 
Did you do a vet cooking thing or do you have a video on it? Um, I talk about it a little bit in one of my tips videos, but I don't have... I'm at I'm on level 4 right now, so there's like just two pages left, so I'm almost done. Um, I don't know what kind of reward you get, I don't think you get much, but yeah, I'm not finished with it yet. I think it would just add a cue to the makers like what they did with previous SOS. Yeah, maybe that's something they could do. I would love a shed like Stardew Valley. Yeah, that would be good. Uh, do you have any plans for the almost 2 million gold you have? So, there's really not too much you can do with your money after you've upgraded. So, I still have to buy the Auricalcon tools. So, they're 150k each. So, that's quite a lot, actually. I'm so happy with this house. I wish you could change, like, the roof. Like, can you imagine, like, if you can have, like, a blue roof? Or if you could just, like, take your paint like this and change the roof. Um, anyway, um... Yeah, let's go buy some furniture. So that's what I'm going to do with my money. Uh, I think... Okay, let me just uh, put away, like, my planks and all of that. Just so I have more space. Oh, let me take my cherries. They're really not making me any money because they're just, like, three stars. But I'm going to pick them anyway. I like the idea of one maker, but making stacks. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Oh yeah, and the new pet. We need not to forget the new pet. Oh, and the broccoli. Okay. There's a lot to do today. We're gonna start with the furnace. Oh my gosh. These <laughs> turnips. So many huge turnips. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be a big harvest today. Uh, maybe, maybe I should start with that. So while I'm harvesting, I'm gonna read the chat, see if I missed anything. But yeah, I'm really curious to see what they're gonna make with the makers. But besides that, I don't have that much like complaints about the game. I wish they would improve the makers. I wish they would improve my, maybe like post marriage. Like the dialogues and maybe having your partner and your kids actually like doing work or something. Like doing something, right? And... What else? I don't have too much complaints. They're gonna fix the food like the... So you don't just... Everybody eat fish every day. No matter what they eat. So different food is gonna be good. But beside that, yeah, I'm just looking forward to the expansion pass and the new content. Oh, also recently I've just bought the winter seasonal garden. So now I have all four of the seasonal gardens. But I'm using pretty much only the summer one right now. But I'm gonna have to... Maybe I'm thinking... So the, the winter one could be good for planting leeks. But I'm thinking of just... Because I already have like lots of crops here. So maybe in the winter one I'm gonna plant... So I'm, I'm gonna put some makers since you cannot you don't have like trees right and for the other signal gardens I'm just planting trees so maybe makers oh little sneak hips thank you so much for the super chat in in my last video I was in my animal guide video someone asked because uh, <laughs> my buffalo I have one of my buffalo named little snake hips and people were asking <laughs> where the name came from anyway hello everyone happy sir thank you for the videos Josh hope everyone is doing well and will you try painting the plants too? I'd like to see a different color pot. So, unfortunately, you cannot change the colors of the pots. Um, yeah, you cannot change the colors of these, unfortunately. But thank you, thank you so much for the super chat. <laughs> OMG, it's little snake hips. You're the buffalo in Josh's games, aren't you? Yeah, you're getting famous. You're the <laughs> famous buffalo. So. 
I don't have a lot of crops because I can't stand it. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to have more crops than what I have currently. Uh, I have like 192, so I have like these eight squares, but I feel like more than and plus the hydroculture, but more than that would be just too much, I think. And you're the best buffalo we have <laughs> so far. You're giving us 8 star buffalo milk, which is quite valuable, but... Oh, actually, I want to see if I can breed you. Breed little snake hips uh, to get a new buffalo. And we're going to get closer to finally getting 10 star milk. Is there a difference in the speed of the mounts? No, they're all the same. All the same speed. Okay, so just two more squares. Two more squares and we're gonna be done with this. <laughs> Sorry, I think that <laughs> maybe that sounded a little bit weird, but I wanna see if <laughs> I wanna get a new little baby buffalo. Alright, let's do this. How many broccolis do I have now? 400. And I'm gonna pick up my oranges. And then, yeah, so animal shop for a little snake hips. And then buy a new pet. Probably gonna buy a cat. And then general store to buy some furniture does anyone uh, know if furniture can be rotated no you cannot rotate the furniture unfortunately oh my pens is already but anyway we don't have too much time so let's do our shopping oh I want to I just want to put away oh I think my avocado is already oh my coffee is ready my coffee over there as well. I think I oh my, all of these beautiful avocados, all of my honey's ready. There's just so much to do, but <laughs> so much to do, but so little time. And we want to work on the house, right? So let's put this away. And. Yeah, I don't know why you can't rotate things. I feel like that's such a... Like, it's 2021, right? <laughs> I feel like if you can customize your house in a game, it's one of the basic features that you should be able to rotate your furniture, but... Alright, so let's sell these and maybe let's take our coffee beans very quickly. But we really don't have too much time. Lazy move on the developer's side. Yeah, I feel like there's a few things that they went maybe a little bit lazy. Um, like rotate, like the rotation and the fact that you can't put stuff on rugs and things like this that were kind of overlooked. I hope they do something about the lag though. Yeah, so that's something they've announced. So I think so the next update should be coming mid-April. Which should be like next week or the week after, right? So we should see, hopefully, some improvement uh, in terms of performance. Alright, so now let's... I'm gonna have to get some more clay. I only have 173 left. That's all I have. Hi, Josh. How are you? It's been so long. Hi, Nate. Hope you're doing good. Yeah, it's been a long time. Happy Easter. So, yeah, let's splurge a little bit. Let's go shopping. Let's do the pets first. Oh, I have to sell. Actually, before I can breed little snake hips, I have to give away some animals. Where are you following them's 
for why are you following them for information game updates coming so i follow them on twitter uh i think it's bokumono pr but they only post in japanese there so i think if you follow maybe marvelous you can get updates in english but it's gonna take longer but if you follow their japanese twitter like all the updates they're gonna put it there i forgot what i was doing oh yeah i want to sell some animal well give some animals yeah and yeah because my barn is full i want to talk to my sprites every day but like i want them to level up but they just fill up your inventory so quickly oh i want to see if there's white flowers to oh my oh yeah but that's not oh yes lilies so i'm gonna make some white paint with that and after that we should be able to buy it so, okay, so this one is good, so buffalo, third generation, you can get rid of that, fourth generation, I'm gonna have to breed this one, uh, the brown and black cows, I wanna breed them too, but, I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring the regular ones to 10 stars first, um, I should breed this goat. You know what, I think we can sell Mike too. So we're just gonna have one buffalo. All right. And let's go. I feel like the dev just didn't think the player base could customize the farm as much as we are and didn't expect the lag to get so bad of an issue. Yeah, I think they were expecting it, but they didn't want to delay the game. Because I think it was kind of obvious that the, like, the lag was kind of a big issue. Hey Christian, I'm glad you're able to finally make it to the live stream. Where can we check for update news? Yeah, it's on uh, Twitter. You have to follow Bokumono PR. Okay, let's breed our animals. Um, sorry, I don't feel like dialogues today. <laughs> I feel like there's just so much I want to do for my farm. Okay, so let's breed. Um, alpaca and little snake hips and I think our chickens as well so we're gonna get a seventh generation chicken oh but I also had to expect around Placing a bunch of makers to some degree since they don't only make one thing at a time. Yeah. Yeah, I think they totally expected the performance issues. I think they were probably aware of that. Have you tried painting your house? No, you can't paint your house. You forgot the new pet. Oh my gosh, no. Yeah, let's buy the new pet. Well, let's buy furniture while we're here. But yeah. Oh my gosh, there's so much. I want to see this. I don't know how big this is. This one I already have. Some of them I probably already have. You do that. I don't think I'm going to use this. Um, I wish there's no like counter space, right? On the other... Maybe I could have like two of these. All right, so yeah, let's get a pet. Yeah, let's buy the new pet. My cats don't play together. Oh no. I feel like my my wolf and my cat always play together. I don't know if it depends on their personality. I'm not sure exactly uh, what the pet personalities do. Um. So I'd like to have 
so I'm more of a dog person. I already have one cat, but I already have I have one Shiba Inu, and I have one wolf. But maybe a Labrador could be nice. Or a husky, but I feel like the husky looks like the the other quite a bit. Oh, maybe the white cat could be cute. This one's cute too. Actually, the husky and the wolves are not too similar. Maybe I should get a husky. Wh what do you guys think? What 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 pet should we get? Husky, yeah. I think popular barn animals give you more products. Yes, so the for the barn animals, yeah. So the popular has a higher chance of giving you more products, and the cheerful ones as well. And for for the other personalities, it's just like their friendships or their happiness will go up faster or slower depending on the personality. But for the pets, I'm not sure exactly. The pink cat looks like a pig. Is there a pink cat? Oh, this one. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Husky. I think we should get the husky. My poor cat is going to be lonely because we can only have four animals, right? How should we name... How should we name our husky? Hmm... How do you name a husky? Maybe like Snow or... I don't know, let me know if... Mm. I like the Maine Coon, I don't know if I spelled it right. Yeah, I don't like... I don't like cats too much, actually. I like black cats in real life, but... Yeah, Hank, Moon Moon, <laughs> and then my husky, Balto, Rocky... Hmm... Moon Moon, why... Why are so many people saying Moon Moon? What's Moon Moon? <laughs> Rambo, Balto... Why Why is so many Balto? Balto and Moon Moon, what? <laughs> um, what's Moon Moon? I think I'm gonna have to look at... It's a meme? Oh, I see. I was like, what? I, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know memes too much. Um, oh, I see. Yeah, I'm not. I, I don't have like meme culture. Is um, <laughs> Do we have other? Do we have any suggestions other than Moon Moon and Balto? Um, Ash, uh, Ash is not bad. I want this game. Kela, I hope you can get this game soon. Oh, Tundra is cute. I think Tundra is cute. Oh, Tofu is cute. Hmm. Luna, a lot of people are saying, but I feel like Luna, yeah, that's cute. Fang, ooh, Fang is cute as well. A lot of people are saying Apollo, Luna, Grey. I already have <laughs> my, actually my mini wolf is called Grey. Kimchi, what? Uh, my husky is named Luna, White Fang, Frosty, Thor, ooh. Okay, a lot of people are saying Luna, so maybe we can go with that. So maybe it's gonna be a girl because it feels kind of like more feminine so that's gonna be Luna and we still have a lot of money to spend but I think we spent it on everything we could uh, for our house now okay so let's see how Luna is doing Luna means moon, by the way. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> oh, so cute. Yeah, actually, she looks quite different from the wolf, actually. They look both. Ah, I'm so happy. They're so cute. I wish they would... I wish I could take, like, a family picture with all of my <laughs> pets together. 
don't know what color her bed is gonna be. Maybe green? Because there's blue, red, yellow, so I'm guessing the other one's gonna be green. Yeah, you can have up to four pets in total. What kind of color is that? That's... Like, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> like, this one is red, this one is blue, this one is yellow. And this one is blue on the outside. But... Does it depend... Oh, does it depend on the pet? I feel like it just ruins everything. I was hoping... <laughs> I was expecting, like, to have a green one because they all have a different color. But maybe it depends... I don't know. I don't know. I was expecting a different one. Yeah, it should have been green, right? With, all, like, all the colors. I was really expecting green. Okay, let's make some white paint, actually. Let's make white paint. It, do it does not depend on the pet. I see. So, I'm not sure why I got this one, but... Anyway. I was really hoping for green. Like, it has the same trim, like, of the blue one. But inside, it's kind of, like, brownish. So, I'm not too sure, but anyway. It's not... It's not the end of the world, but... So let's start decorating. So I think the first thing I should. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's, <that? laughs> What's happening? Wait, I have to record this. What? <laughs> Gray, are you okay? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my gosh, what just happened? Oh my gosh, that, that was interesting. That was okay. Um, okay, so let's move the furniture. Okay, so let's, yeah, let's just put everything down. And I want to check the rugs. Yeah, he was playing with his tail, but I think he kind of glitched because I don't think he's supposed to uh, <laughs> do it that much. Like, yeah, I think I think that's cute, but I want something more like fancy. I think, like, blue rug. I want to see how big. Oh, uh, I was hoping there would be like a bigger frame. So we could either do something blue, I think, or like the red one. Just look at the furniture, you can build the menu. Oh, you're right. There's there's a lot I can build, right? Um, like the small tables, the small chairs. And like you can't rotate the chairs, right? So like... How, you, how are you going to put your four chairs around your table, right? Oh, these are cute too. The little sofas. Oh my gosh, I need a fireplace. I need to make this fireplace. I can put it here. Oh my gosh, that's going to look good. Okay, I think I'm going to go with blue. So, okay, I'm going to center it with my fire, my future fireplace. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to center it, actually. Okay, I think... Okay, I need to make sure... Okay, I want to build a fireplace. Okay, let me just put that here. Let me just put... Let me just make sure everything is safe. Let me place that. Like, I want to put a sofa here, but, like, I want to turn it around, but that's not possible, right? Okay, so let's um Okay, let's just put a few things down. Good 
Yeah, I wish there were different house styles as well. Yeah, you can't paint them. There's only like a blue and a red one. But yeah, I like the like the contrast of the blue. It sticks out a little bit more. Um Okay, so what do I need for the fireplace? So five are recalcant, so I don't have that. The stone is fine. Everything else should be fine. Okay, let me see. Let me see for the recalcant actually. Pros and cons for the games, for the game, I think, well, the pros are, like, I'm gonna try to do it shortly because I feel like I answered this question a lot, but I really like the customization options that you have in this game, like, to be able to change the layout of your farm and all of that, I think it's a lot of fun, and I get all the different ways to make money with, like, honey and uh, mushrooms. And just like how big your farm is. So I think like in as in terms of like your actual farm, there's a lot to do. That's what the, what what I like. And one con. So one thing I wish would be better would be the festivals. So I feel like previous games had more fun and like more interactive festivals. So I wish festivals would be a little bit better. And also, apparently, after marriage, there's not much you can do, and like your spouse doesn't really help you, so I wish that was better as well. Do the materials you contribute determine the appearance? No, it's all gonna be the same in the end. So it doesn't matter, so you just give <laughs> whichever is the easier for you. So, let me see my Orichalcan. I probably don't have five in guts. I probably have like one. I'll have two. So, maybe if we go mining. Okay, let's see. Oh, and I'm gonna need. It needed 50 of gold ores. And okay, I'm gonna put. I needed coal as well, but let me just make some. Mm, let me just put something away, actually. Okay, I don't have anything I can put away. Okay, so let's go. Okay, let's go home. Okay, so I have to sell one white paint, right? So it becomes available at the store. Did they get rid of their cooking fashion festival? There's no cooking or fashion festival. There's no harvest festival, there's no animal festival. Yeah, no Cassidy, so you're not missing out on anything uh, with the town development. Um, so yeah, I need to sell at least one of this. Okay, I need to put my paint somewhere. So that's, my, my paint is really taking a lot of space in my bag, but I don't have I think while I'm working on my house, I'm just gonna make. Yeah, I was supposed to work on the exterior of my farm today, but it turns out that we've upgraded our house and there's just so much to do. Okay, let me just put a little extra chest here just for just for the time that we work on the house. This is so annoying when your inventory is full and you pick up new stuff and you can't pick it up. Okay, I'm just gonna put this here and the, yeah, all my paint, all of my new furniture and this and this and I'm gonna need a few more bricks and what else? So I need coal, I need 30 coal. So I can 
buy coal lamps at the general store. I need 99 rocks, so that's gonna be fine. So let me go see if there's any Aurichalcan that I could get. Yeah, I really like the new house expansion. It looks like the area looks a lot less empty. Just in case I miss the end of the stream, I have fun. I had fun. I had to step away from computer dump breathing treatment. Oh no. Hope you have fun. Thank you so much, Morgan. And thanks for spending time on the stream. So yeah, lots of our recalcan today. So we're gonna do our fireplace. And after the fireplace, I think I wanna get the Aurichalcan hammer. That's something I've been wanting to get for a little while. Especially like for these gold. I always have to hit to hit the gold ores twice and it's a little bit annoying. How many fruit trees are in the game? I'm not too sure exactly. There's about maybe four or five per season, so and there's no trees in winter. But I'm sure you can find this up if you look it up. Okay, anyway, we've got all of the Aurichalcan that we need, so let's just go home and put this in the maker, and then we should be good. Just sold my first batch of sweet potato. I'm in Faldir, and I doubled my gold count. Yay! Congrats. Yeah, sweet potatoes are really good to make money. So, yeah. So tomorrow we're going to build our fireplace and finish decorating the house. And after that, we're going to be almost at three hours. So I'm going to eat lunch eventually. Uh, but yeah, let's put that in the maker. Make this and let's make some iron. How do you get a pattern for the storage box that takes jewels? I think you need to reach. Oh, actually, it's. I think it's draining. Yeah, draining level nine. You're gonna get the treasure chest. And also, so I need coal, I need 30, 30 coal. I hope, I don't know if it's asking too much, but I hope the fireplace is gonna turn on at night. Like, like these lamps turn on at night, right? So I really hope the fireplace at night, there's gonna be a little fire that's gonna lit up. That would be really, really good. Oh, we have to go to bed before we pass out. What happens if you pass out on your horse? Actually, I want to see what... I've, I've never done it, so I just want to see what happens. Yeah, the area that's blocked near Yodi's house, that's going to be for the DLC. Just watch your animal videos, but what's yours? What does their personality affect? So, as I'm saying in the video, the most... Oh, so we just... Okay. Um, so, the personalities will affect the rate at which the happiness and personality, uh, sorry, the happiness and friendship are gonna go up higher, faster or slower, depending on their personality. And also if they're popular or cheerful, they have a higher chance of giving you more products. Yeah, so now at the flower shop, I'm gonna be able to buy the white paint. But basically, I wouldn't worry too much about that, about the personalities. Anyone excited for Coral Island? Yeah, I'm really, really excited for Coral Island. Casually making 100k a day. Yeah, I'm <laughs> making too much money now. And I'm not even like taking care of my animals or anything, so... Yeah, this bed is not the best. Okay, alright, so... 
yeah we're gonna make this into a nice room so let's go get our our recalcan where do you find the info and personalities so i was looking at the japanese website i'm not too sure but i made a video and there's a little chart in the video um if you look at my animal guide video but i'm not sure exactly where in the video i talk about that but I do, and yeah, but there's not that much information on this in English, unfortunately, at the moment. How do you get the double bed? So it's just by upgrading your house. I didn't even notice that the bed got bigger or not. Maybe it's just when you get the second floor. I wonder if you need to add a log in the fireplace like in Mineral Town. Oh, maybe. We're gonna see that. Why am I here? Oh yeah, I wanna buy coal, yeah. My bed got bigger after marriage. Oh, I see, that's, that's how it works. Yeah, paint is the flower shop, so I'm gonna go to the flower shop. Oh, let's say hi to Blair. Let's say hi to Love It. And let's buy some paint. Actually, it's really cheap. Okay, all right, should be good. All right, let's go decorate our house. I hear you can marry a merman, mermaid in Girl Island. Yeah, I feel like the whole aspect of like diving and like everything, like you have to save the coral and the whole mermaid thing looks very unique. So yeah, I feel like there's gonna be a lot of very unique and interesting things in Coral Island. Is he wearing a dress? I don't think that's a... I don't know, just some kind of coat? I don't... <laughs> I'm not sure, actually. I'm not too sure. Um... So, alright, so let's check our chest. Uh, alright, so with this, I think I should... Oh, I should have bought... Actually, I'm, I'm gonna have to sell at least one black paint because I don't have a lot. Ah, because I can't buy it at the store right now. This one I know I'm not gonna use it. Uh, okay, let's get our recalcan. Okay, let me sell one black paint so it shows up in the store next time. And maybe pink too. Pink and black. And... Was there purple? I think I already had purple at the store. Okay, so let's go get our, our recalcan. How do you change coal to the refined? You just, uh, it's in, it should be in your crafting menu. You just craft it. Just like the glass. How we turn the, uh, the glass stone in the glass panel, right? Like this. And let's just put um okay let's just put one thing away and let me just craft oh maybe i'm not gonna have okay let me make the coal i'm gonna keep a few coal lamps just in case like this i'm gonna need a new box for that okay and now i need more bricks actually let's go get more bricks i 
I think the team that used to work on HM is the team that worked on this SOS. They just moved companies. Actually, they didn't move companies. It's just the... The company that localizes the game changed. So it's just the English title of the game that changed. But it's the exact... What used to be Harvest Moon is now Terra of Seasons. But it's the exact same company that develops the game. So I'm not sure where my bricks are. I put my bricks somewhere. Okay, let me make some more and let me put... So I'm just gonna need 91 of... 99 of these. So I can put 43 away. And... Okay, let's make more bricks. I wish we could buy bricks. I feel for the people that bought One World and were expecting old school Harvest Moon. I know I was... Like you would think that it's been like, f what, five years? Six, seven years since the... Since the change, right? But a lot of people... <laughs> a lot of people unfortunately don't... Still don't know about this, so they bought Harvest Moon One World thinking... It would be like... The like the original Harvest Moon, right? Um, but it's not. Uh, okay, so okay, I need to find my bricks. Where did I put my bricks? Hi, Josh and everyone. I'm a bit late, being very busy today. I wanted to watch after dinner. No worries. I'm glad you were able to make it. I don't know for how long the stream is gonna continue, but I'm glad you're here now. Oh yes, we've got our bricks. Yay! Now, am I still missing something? No, we've got our fireplace. I feel the stream is getting a bit choppy, is it? Oh, can you actually place this one outside? Oh, don't tell me this is an outside furniture though. I really hope it's not an outside furniture. Uh, of course, there's nowhere I can place it now, but I just wanna make sure it's not an outside furniture. That would be really bad. Oh no, okay, it's inside. Okay, phew. Okay, alright. I was scared. <laughs> okay, so let's go in. Let's go put our fireplace down. And let's start decorating this beautiful house. It's choppy, I just assume it's the game being naturally laggy. Yeah, the the game is having some issues too. Uh, I made it back also I can see an outdoor fire pit area. That would be cool. Oh yeah, that would be nice. I don't think there is though. I don't think that's a thing. But that would be cute. Wait, did I just... I feel like... Oh no, I got it. Okay, alright. So, let's put our fireplace here. Oh, yeah. So, there's already fire burning. Like this. So, unfortunately... Oh, that's <laughs> so cute. The little cat on the thing. Um. So... Yeah, you can't center the rug with... Maybe if I use a different rug... Oh, no. Maybe if I use this one. Um, but I like the blue one, though. Uh, maybe if I don't try to center it. If I put it... I don't know, like this. No, that's weird. Should I? Okay, so should I use the blue rug and not center it? Or should I use the green rug and it's smaller, but I could have it centered? I'm gonna place this there for now. 
And yeah, I really want to place like sofas, but like I have my fireplace here, and if I put sofas here, like it's gonna look really weird, right? Maybe. Oh, you know what? I could do. I think I know. Okay, let's try something. Let's try to put this here. Maybe something like this. Um, it's really, <laughs> actually, it's really, really hard to decorate when you can't move furniture around, when you can't rotate, I mean, bringing the bookcase uh, closer next to the fireplace so the rug feels centered on both items, yeah, maybe, hmm. Let me try something. So, okay, let me try if we put, if we move that and we put the bookcase. Oops. Oops. That's not, that's not my bookcase. Like this. Sorry for all the <laughs> furniture on the ground. Um. Now where is my? Oh yeah, I need to drop something. Oops. Okay, let's drop it here. Because it's still not going to be centered, right? Good shot. Like something like this. Good shot. Would be nice if furniture could be added on top of the rug like in ACNH. Yeah. Oh, well, like this, it's not too bad. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure. And maybe I could have... Something like that. And maybe I could fit one little chair or something here. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Um, maybe put the tool, yeah, maybe I should, <laughs> maybe I can take, get rid of my tools, that would be a good idea. Uh, yeah, maybe, because I wanted to have, yeah, maybe if we, oh, you know what, maybe what we could do, we move this maybe if we put a plant here it doesn't look too <laughs> bad right it doesn't mm. yeah now I really wish I could place the sofas a different way yeah I'm really not sure how I'm gonna place my sofas The real challenge with the game decorating that looks decent with all the furniture facing the same way. Yeah, that's definitely the big challenge. Um. Yeah, what do we do? Or do we try? Okay, let's let's take out the green rug again. Maybe we're gonna. Ah. I don't know. I feel like the green is not as good, but it makes things a little bit easier. I just wish, I feel like I would do, I would be able to do so much more if I could actually move, rotate the furniture. Okay, now that this is, now that the fireplace is centered, I think I can just put another plant 
Maybe I can use... Do I have another one of this one? Oh, let's take this one. Oops. Oh, and I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck in my plant. Is this game worth the price tag? I would say definitely so. It's not a perfect game, but so far I'm, I've played over 100 hours so far. So I would say that if I if I've played a game over 100 hours, I definitely consider it as worth it. So maybe this should be in my bedroom uh, and not in here. This heater I don't need. Yeah, I'm not sure now what I'm gonna do with the rest of this space. So I. I feel like here I should put my bookcase and maybe I can have a little kind of reading corner here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that. So and maybe over here I could have another table. I don't know. I feel like <laughs> that's going to be a lot of tables in one room. Um. I also uh, I wanted to put some lights on the on the walls, but uh, what if maybe I put the light here and then I put these there because you can't put yeah. Oh, it's not too bad, right? Like this. Yeah, if you like Stardew Valley, I think you'll enjoy it as well. But yeah, it is quite... There's quite a few differences, but yeah, it's the same genre. So I think you would like it. So much cheating for one person and four pets. Yeah, definitely. Um, make several bookcases for a wall device. Oh, yeah. Ah, I completely forgot you can actually have more than one. Uh, you can have more than one furniture, right? So I can have... More than one bookcase. I wish... Oh, pink is cute. Yeah, I'm not sure what kind of color. So I have the uh, green rug. But the green furniture doesn't really match with the green rug. I don't know if white would be cute. Oh, white is cute. I want to see what these ones look like in white. Um, that's cute. Blue. Blue is nice, but I think I'm going to go with green. What about pink? I think the pink with the green looks not too bad. I'm not sure what color I'm going to go for. Red, yeah, red could be nice. Yeah, I think red and green could be good. Yeah, makes it a little bit warmer. So, yeah, I'm not sure <laughs> what I'm going to put on this bottom part. You know what I I feel like is missing? is like a record player. Like... You know, in like in Mineral Town, there was a record player, and you could like change the music um, that would play in the background. I I feel like that's something that's missing from this game. I don't see anything that can work with fireplace if you can't rotate them. Yeah, that's a big <laughs> problem. Um, I like how this game looks a lot. So cute. Yeah, it's really cute. Um. Hmm. Hopefully in an update they will let us rotate the furniture. Yeah, I really hope we can rotate eventually. So I'm gonna put this back here. Can we change the color of that? No. Um, yeah, I wish there was like counter space like this on this side. Or like even if there was like counter space here, then I could put like some plants and some like statues and things. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, maybe I could try something with the dividers. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go to bed. Um, 
Hello, Josh. Sorry. Ooh, very cool. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi, Vita. CC. Hope you're doing good. Thanks for joining. All right. So now we can buy all the colors. Rune Factory 5 coming soon. Will you play it? Yes, I will definitely be playing Rune Factory 5. I'm very, very excited for it. All right, new day. Now let's see how our house looks like. Um, yeah, it looks... Okay, let me... Yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> there's too many different colors now, of course. Uh, maybe... this maybe I could have like white chairs here and what about a red table I don't know mm. it just feels super messy but I have no idea what I'm gonna put here oh yeah so what I want to try doing is maybe with the dividers maybe I can try to kind of create a second room Okay, maybe not here. Maybe. Yep. Okay, I think. Like something like this. And. You know what? I think that's not too bad, right? I just wish there was another divider that, like in a different style of divider, right? I guess I could also use book bookcases to like, I could do, I could do something like that as well, right? I think that's even better. Like if I use two bookcases to make a little separation here, yeah, I think I can do that. I'm going to buy another bookcase. And I don't know if there's like a tiny little rug. I think this one, but I just need to find. Oh, yeah, 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 that's cute. Oh, no, because. Okay, wait, let me. Like, the sofa is actually bigger than. Um, okay, let me try like this. It kind of blocks the window, it's a little bit weird, but I think. And let me just put it red. Okay, let me get another bookcase. A few more bookcases and see what we can do. Can you paint the dividers? No, you can't, unfortunately. Yeah, very, very happy with this house expansion. Even though the customization is not perfect in this game, you still have... In, with this last room, you have so much more space than with the previous ones, so... That's good. Alright, so let's go see Nigel and buy some extra furniture. Do I have... Sp oh, I should have made more space in my bag, but... I'm gonna need more of these chairs. I'm thinking maybe in my near my kitchen I should make a dining area, right? So I should probably buy. Now we really have this table. I, I, I'm gonna buy. <laughs> I'm gonna buy more chairs. Um. Okay, I'm gonna buy a few more bookcases. And I'm gonna buy one more like pantry. 
And okay. And let's see if there's anything else I could craft that would be nice. There's this chest. Um, that would be good. Uh, these ones are really small. Oh, maybe oh, maybe I could make like a side table for my um, near my sofa, like a little side table. Unfortunately, you can't put anything on top. But yeah, maybe we can make one of these. Because they're really small, but I think for a side table, that would be good. Have you finished decorating your farm? No, I'm very... I'm quite far from finishing it. But hopefully in the next few weeks I can finish it and do a farm tour. So let's go get some wood, craft the small antique table. And... Yeah, let me just put a few things away first. Already 1 p.m. and I haven't done any work on my farm, but it's okay. Just for inside the house. Wonder if you can put stuff in it. No, that's just for like changing your clothes, right? That's just. I don't even know if you can use this one to change your clothes, but it's not. Um... No, I don't think you can even change your clothes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you can use it to change your clothes, but no, you cannot use the. You cannot store stuff in it. So this one... That's just three, that should be enough. Do you know if there is an use for sap? So sap is used mostly for like lighting so like this street lamp all of the different lamps uh require sap so it's mostly for decoration but if you have too much like it's okay to sell it but usually like you're gonna need like if you craft a lamp like five or ten sap so you really don't need that much Yeah, there's so much <laughs> so much work to do on my farm now. I have like flowers that are ready. I have honey that I have to pick up. Your farm is beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. Still a lot of work to do, but we're getting there. All right. Yeah, we're going to have to decorate this area, so I think Probably I can use oh I thought I had I bought a big table but um wait I bought another big table today and uh, yesterday I'm not sure where I put it like the square version of this one probably in one of my probably somewhere anyway let's put the bookshelf here and should we put another bookshelf here? Is that too much or should we put like the cabinet? Can we get a little tour maybe? Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep like this. So I'm definitely planning a proper farm tour eventually, but I'd like maybe before the end of the stream we can do a little tour. I feel like that's too much red in one area. Ask for more being concerned and noticing the time. Just have you eaten today? Might be a weird question. Just going off the habit of how these streams normally go. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go eat lunch soon. So this stream is gonna get to an end uh, soon. 
So, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do. So, yeah, maybe the side table like this. I think that's pretty cute. And maybe we can put our plant here. I wish there was also like, I wish there was like TV or, you know, just other things like that. Have you tried black on the bookcases? I don't think we did. I only have one black left. Oh, it's cute, right? It's not bad. Oh, sorry, that, <laughs> that was not on the bookcase. But yeah, I'm running out of black paint right now. I wish I could put these this little book stand on the uh, fireplace. Sorry, I don't <laughs> I don't want I don't mean to ask weird questions. No, that's perfectly fine. I wish I could place like food related stuff here. Mm. Yeah. So, okay, I want to mm. I feel like there's just so so much like seating area. Um, but yeah. oh, maybe I should make one of these. Can you place these on the floor? I don't think you can place them on the floor. I think let me just check. I just want to see. Oh no! So it absolutely has to be on these. Mm, that's too bad. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do, so a lot of people have been requesting like a small farm tour, even though there, there's not a lot to show. I think we're gonna do a little tour quickly. And after that, that's gonna be it for today. So this is my house. So there's still a lot of work in progress, so it's not finished, but I'm gonna show you what I have now. Uh, so that's my house. Uh, that's the last expansion. Then over here, maybe I shouldn't use the scooter for the tour. Here I have a little patio, so I just planted a banana tree. I have one little lamp, a little table, and a little chest. And yeah, <laughs> just a basic little patio. And over here, I still have to plant flowers here, but uh, basically I just wanted to make a little, like, little chic kind of area with some cherry trees. And if you come over here, we have the hydroculture plant with my wolf here and then I have my seed my big seed maker so I hide it behind the stable so you don't see it too much and over here I have some chests and I still have to decorate this area over here so I'm gonna make it look nicer but yeah and so that's pretty much it for this area also I started making a kind of little boardwalk here um, but you can't decorate the beach, so I'm gonna have to. Maybe I'm gonna put some benches or some chairs here where the grass is. But yep, so that's still a work in progress. So that's area one. Area two. So I used to have my mushroom lugs here, but I moved them in area three. So I think this is gonna be just like a, a little orchard. So most of my fruit trees are actually scattered all around my island. Uh, uh, sorry, all around my farm. Uh, but I think I'm gonna have a few fruit trees here and my seedling makers here and all of my fruit seeds All of my tree is gonna be there and Here I've got my crops, so I still have to plant some uh, But uh, basically I have eight big squares and that's more than enough That's actually quite a lot and This area <laughs> is just a mess. So I'm not sure. I think I want to make like a cute a little park like in front of the pond like I want to put like a little picnic table or something here so I'm, I'm just gonna make it a cute area this is gonna be a work in progress I'm not this is um, well as currently it's some beehives but I want to change this area so I'm not sure what I'm gonna make it yet uh, here is where I grow my flowers so I put all of my paints well usually my paint is here and my flowers and seeds are there so I make some essence, I make some colors.
and here I have my mushrooms so this fits 20 mushroom lugs so that's perfect for the mushroom area and because you can only have 20 mushroom lugs and I planted some coffee trees in the back so it looks a little bit prettier and I can use the space a little bit more then here I have my barns so I have two barns I have one for my wool animals one for my milk animals and all of my makers are just hiding at the back there behind the silos so you so you don't see them too too much they're kind of hiding and over here, so last stream we started decorating this area, so I have some beehives there and some honeymakers here, but I think I'm gonna put maybe all of my honeymakers in area 2 and put some more beehives here. Then over here, this is still a work in progress, but this is gonna be like just a cute area. Um, and I have some grape trees and some olive trees. I'm planning to maybe put like a parasol table or a picnic table here. And here is where, so this is still a work in progress, but this is where I usually plant my wheat and my rice, my tea and all of that. But <laughs> as you can see, there is nothing now because I've been too busy decorating my farm. Um, yeah, so this area, I still have to make it pretty. And here I have all of my ingot makers and one little jewel maker. And over here, I have my chicken. Oops. As you can see, I haven't been here for a little while, so I'm going to have to clean this up. But that's my chicken coop, my mayonnaise makers. And in front here, I've got my lumber and my brick makers. So that's pretty much it for my farm so far. There's still a lot of work to do. I want to make it look better. So hopefully sometime during the summer, um, yeah, I want to make a farm tour in the summer. So now we're on the 20th day of spring. So I'm realizing that I have a lot of work to do. I really need to start getting working a little bit more. But yeah. Didn't you want to make the place for the barn bigger? I don't think so. Because as much as like when I take my animals out, they're all cluttered together. And they don't have a lot of space. But I, I don't... I don't know if I want to make it bigger. Um, important question, how did you level cooking? Just making cooked fish or an omelette? So I just cook mostly for Lovett's quests or like whenever I need to cook. I never cook just to try to level up my skill. So I don't have any tips for that. This feels so much like Animal Crossing New Horizons, but farming style. Yeah, there's a few similarities. And thank you for the tour and all the great videos. Thank you so much, little snake hips. So yeah, thank you so much, guys, for this stream. It was a lot of fun. And one more time, happy Easter. I hope you're enjoying your Easter. And if it's your first time here, feel free to click like and subscribe. I stream every Wednesday and Sundays. And I make videos on the Star of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town as well. And yeah, if you're interested in joining the Discord, there's a link to the Discord in the description. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it, guys. So I'm going to see you Wednesday. And yeah, thank you so, so much for joining. And see you next time. And happy Easter. Bye-bye.